Mighty. My name is Delgit. Welcome to the show. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Uh, okay, what a what a night, man. Last night, I don't know if you guys were watching the Champions League. Cinderella story. Sheriff Tiras Paul beating Real Madrid at the Benamor. What a night. City played like, I mean, City played well, a bit unlucky when they were one goal down. They should have scored the equaliser when they came so close. I think it was about the, it still, was still in the first half. Um, But I have to admit, I'm kind of not surprised because the way they were pressing, they were allowing the um, PSG to hit them on the break. So, um, they would, the, four, the forefront guys of City would press, leaving such a big gap. Uh, free, uh, basically free midfield for uh, PSG to play through and that's how they scored that goal. I mean, I was like, okay, <laughs> with that game. It wasn't like jumping up and down. Yeah, but it was the Sheriff game that was very exciting. Hey, man. I mean, what do you get when you get two KGB, uh, two former KGB agents when they uh, take over a club in Moldova? <laughs> yeah, but they did really well. I mean, I mean, to be fair, Sharif, the entire team is for the imports, right? So they've done really well in their league. Um, they're doing very well in Europe. Uh, the Cinderella story may end in the knockout rounds, but it's definitely... Uh, thank God there's no Super League. We won't be seeing such things, these kind of uh, events, man, if there was a Super League. Uh, because we all want Cinderella stories, don't we? Well, I hope you guys are here. Uh, thanks for coming in. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to my Ernst Apple Challenge straight away. Yeah, normally we do bring your tactics, right? But today we're going to zip through very quickly. I didn't get too many uh, tactics, so I'm not doing one unless I, I get a holler from Discord that you guys want me to take a look at a tactic, in which case we'll switch. Uh, it's a, so I, you know me, I, I, mean, I don't know why I started it. So we got a big game here. It's Feyenoord playing their strikeless system against Ajax. We didn't start off very well. I played one, I just played one match offline. Um, one all draw. I couldn't even break down the opposition. It's because I worked ball into box. On. It, they were defending deep. When a team defends deep, you don't use work ball into box. You just don't. Yeah, because they're already going to be back. Everybody's defending behind the ball, getting behind the ball. Work ball into box does not help you. In fact, it's going to be a problem. Right. Oh no, Lema. Aha! Correct, Labour is off! He's off! What the hell's wrong with him? Oh man, we start the stream. He goes, he decides, I'm not having anything to do with this stream. I'm out of here. Who are we going to play here now? We're gonna have to take off Growin. Okay. And bring on um later on. One of these jokers better be able to I mean Man, this is stunning man. Get sent off in the first minute of the game. Never had that happen to me before. Well, he doesn't want to play football. Sent off in the first minute. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, I'm going to just take this guy, put, bring him on, put him here as a defensive winger, move these guys in as shadow strikers, and just keep on playing our striker system. <laughs> first minute rate, man, Daniel, you're right. Very first minute, we've got a sending off. Okay, the silver nicks the ball off uh, whoever this guy was, Ozan, and he shoots, forcing Bijlo, the keeper, into a safe. Oh, man. Yes. I'm massacring names. The silver shot to Divizio. Divizio back to the silver, puts it into the box. Mina sets it up. No, not going anywhere. Thomas Lema, hefty. I'm not changing his role. Because in the game, right, even though you have a yellow card, um, they do dial down. Uh, they, they, they're supposed to be aware, you know. Unless they have got the they have got that dirty streak in them. 
Man. We wanted revenge on Ajax for beating us last season. But I mean, I wasn't manager then, right? Diallo, it's a penalty. No, it's not. Ridwan saves the day. Ozan, Gravenbach, uh, Brahim. Oh, this guy's a very good player. All right, but he loses out again. It's a penalty. Oh man, please don't be don't be awarded. Don't be awarded. Don't be awarded. This is one hell of a way to start the stream. You heard the saying, right? <laughs> what it what? I mean like there's a lot of RNG in this game, I guess. Sometimes when you load when you start the game, your RNG could be bad. I don't know, man. It's one of those days. The Broina is playing for IX. And this is a star-studded team. They've got Thomas Lema, they got Kevin De Bruyne. Ooh. Kevin Birch, it's a good team. Roger, out the Biko, Thomas Ribeiro, Joey. I mean, I might be one goal down, but I'm not about to send everybody forward into an attacking. I'm still going to play the striker system. The striker systems are essentially a bit defensive anyway, so yeah. I could switch to another striker system, which is like a 4-1, 2 with two white players. That usually does very well when you're one man down. Okay, the silver. FT out of the silver. The silver has the ball. Slides into Mina. Mina comes in and shoots. Okay, that's good play. Good play from the boys. Encouraged. Yeah, that's actually, that was a good... That was a very nice transition. Mina. Come on, ref. He got his foot in. What does it say? <laughs> they need to fix the first minute rate. Ah, well. I, yeah, I get by. It, it adds a drama, right? Joey, Mina, the Silver. I, I'm confident. I like our striker system. I, I played it with nine men down and I still won the game. Yeah. Because it's still pretty rock solid because I've got three and I've got four in midfield, right? So and nothing really has changed, right? Except now I need two strikers when I had three. So, come on guys, give me a penalty. Guys, we're back in this, man. Just have to convert. How do... Uh, wait, I've never done this. How do you change the penalty? How do you check the penalty? I've never done this, right? I've never bothered to. Set piece takers. Penalties. Florent De Silva is taking the penalty. What's his... Uh, how good is he? Joey, 16 penalty taking 7. You want composure to be high for the penalty taker as well. I mean 14, 11, I guess. That's okay, I guess. Yeah. 16 composure is the highest we've got, but the closest is scared, man. We we'll just ignore. This is decision is gonna be, can easily re replicate Barcelona's 90 system. Yeah. Oh yeah, Man City replication, right guys? You guys were asking me a lot of times. How do I how would I replicate Manchester City's system on FM21? The same way I'm gonna replicate it in FM22. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be the same way. Okay, essentially what's gonna happen is this. Um yeah, the, the thing about City is uh currently the way they play, right? Uh off the ball when they're defending, they kind of defend like in a 4-4-2. Okay. Um so but the problem with this, this right? They don't always play the same way with everybody, okay? Right? Um, and it depends on who's taking to the field. Um, but I would start with a back four, okay? A good catch from Roger. I would have a DM. Is that a, What? What? Penalty! What the hell happened? <laughs> Come on, right? What in the world is going on in this game? Oh my goodness. I has a dodgy penalty, man. I what? Somebody nobody went down. The keeper went got was there was physical contact with the keeper. That was it.
How the hell forget it? I can't be honest. I, know, I mean, I, I'm probably checking the wrong one. It's this one. Santora, Sons of the Beach. Never mind. It's okay. Let's calm down. I, I still want to know how this penalty happened. Okay. All right. How did this penalty happen? Okay. Oh, thank you, SI. You don't want to show me. Look at this, right? Normally, you can track back, right? And you can go all the way to the incident. Okay? We're tracking, we're tracking, we're tracking, we're tracking, we're tracking. Still tracking, right? We're tracking, we're tracking, and we go here. We're tracking, and tracking, and tracking. He's holding the ball. For what? What do you award the penalty for? He's talking to the VAR referee. Okay. All right. What happened here? Okay. Did that hit a hand? Okay. So apparently it hit poor delivery by Lema. All right. When he got into the box, it hit somebody's hand. That's why. So replay camera behind goal. Okay, no, sorry, it should be this one. Here I go. Okay, whose hand? Ball is coming in. Okay. Goes in. Yeah. Eh? Is this player's hand? So it's Ribeiro's hand that hit the ball. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah, it's somebody's hand here. Ah well, see la vie, such is life. <sighs> did it, did it. We'll have to do better, I guess. That's it. We just have to do better. Very unlucky. Do a Cruyff tactic in FM22. What? Uh, 3 for 3. 3 3. 3 3 1 3 3. Right? Oh, again, you also can check out um, Jahid. Jahid. Jahid also on, on our Discord does these replications. And uh, I don't know what to say today. Just one of those days. You begin the show and you give away three penalties. Three penalties, man. Oh, thank goodness the Bruyne missed. It was like three bloody penalties. Well, I encourage the team. I mean, they must be disappointed. They must be frustrated. Body language is all over the place. Okay. They're all getting pissed as well. They're picking fights on the pitch. All right, we're going to have to make a few changes, okay? So, um, I, I would love to make changes if I had the personnel to make changes, but I don't. I don't, actually, if, you, if I'm looking at this entire bench, I have nobody I can bring up for these two players. That's how deep my squad is. All right, so, yeah. Um, but Sharon can't tackle to save his life, so he can't play here. Ball winning midfielder. I think I can bring Joey here, but he's not much of a ball winning midfielder, if you can tell. He's tackling 29. He's only here to string passes together. We're gonna we're gonna put him back as a libero. He's supposed to be a libero anyway. I don't know why he changed to a CD. He changed to a central defender because the last player was just a ball basic defender, and we didn't change it back. Nothing is easy to replicate for more manager. Ah, uh, well. Inacho, it's 3 1. We lost this game, guys. Oh. Say la vie. Such is life. I'm the sort of person, right? Once. I don't, I don't bother if the shit hits the fan. Hey, man, Peter. I know. I, I'm, I have to move my streams to an earlier time now because. 
because I'm looking after the kids the whole day. And um, then if I start my streams at midnight, that effectively means I get like maybe two hours of sleep every day. And uh, it's getting, it was getting quite bad for my health. So I had a chat with my wife and she says, okay, fine, you can start. So now when she comes back from work, she takes over the kids and I get to stream. I get to do all this. Yeah, so plus so I have to write the book for FM22. I mean, it's going to be just a guide, right? So just things I'm planning uh, that we can do in the game. Like, okay, like this work boy into box instruction that a lot of people seem to think is for, you know, I, I need to score goals, therefore I use work boy into box. Now, you don't use work boy into box like that. Well, boy, two box should be a, a instruction you use when you've got playmakers, when you've got really te good technical players in your team. Then are able to sit in the opposition half and uh, do things. Don't appeal. Right? And move the ball around. But if you meet a defensive team, oh, this is not good, man. Look at that. Draw, draw, loss. What a way to start the stream. Never mind. It's called RNG. Such is life. How we bounce back from this is the measure of our quality. All right, guys. So because of that, now my wife is back. I can actually do these uh, these things, like these streams now. Okay, so I decided to do it a bit earlier. Recovery. Rest. Rest. So like, if I wanted to replicate, like, uh, this is, uh, if I want to replicate City, right, right. It'll be, it's, it'll be something like this, right? With a Shadow Striker here. Uh, probably Inverter Winger on attack here. Inside forward on attack here. Uh, Mezala on attack here. I would probably play a Mezala. I would like to play double Mezalas, but that's a bit dangerous. Then this guy will probably be like a halfback to encourage these two guys to get high up the pitch. Ball playing defender. Probably a wingback on attack. Now, it'll be a double attack duty against weaker teams but if it's against, uh, against very weak teams against teams that are reasonably okay it'll be probably something like this this is a challenging um, role in that uh, wait would I play a winger rather no 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 not in with the winger a winger a winger on support yeah I mean I'm I'm more I like inverted winger though right inverted winger I know some people will say if we're the wing of Mazar attack, you know. But what it end up doing is they end up swapping positions. Right? So what you can do with this guy is you can actually ask him to stay wider. So they end up swapping positions. This guy's gonna go around. It creates a kind of an interesting dynamic on this side of the fish. And here we got a inverter wing. But this is this year's uh this 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 is one way of doing it. Uh, I came up with another one for City. Um which is slightly it's it, it's a bit strange, you know. People might not people might not agree with me, and I, I I don't blame them because I personally would have gone like really if I'd seen it the first time. I'll play this guy as a shadow striker. This guy's a DLF on support. This guy is an inverter winger on attack. He comes in inside here. This guy is a winger, right? Or an inverter winger, right? It could be both, right? It depends on who you who you're fielding on the day. This role is probably a box to box midfielder or, uh, or a um with with this given, get yeah, further forward. Inverter wingback coming inside, so halfback, and a, this this role will be just a wingback on attack. Yeah, this guy will be an inverted wing on support. So I get this guy coming in like this, playing like the Jack Grealish thing, right? Depending on who I have again, right? So some some players are going to go in. But if I wanted to play a bit more like Jack Grealish, I'll probably add the stay wider instructions. This, this will get them, you know what they do? They have this. Um, two strikers in front, the two of them closing down sometimes. They actually defend as a 4-4-2, right? So this is one way, of, another way of doing it. I know this, a lot of people will disagree with me. They, they probably don't, they don't see this. I, I saw this and I was like, hey, could it be? Could this be? And then the other way is doing strikers like this. Shadow striker like this. And so we have a shadow striker, shadow striker. They go strikers like this. One wing back coming here, one inverted wing, wing back going this way. Uh, question is, which side do we put this guy on? Uh, I'll probably put him here, right? This this position I'll probably give him to like a um, box to box or a roaming playmaker, 
right? I'll give this role to uh, Kevin De Bruyne. I'll give this role to Jack Grealish, right? So they they work together in the, on this flank. Here we Riyad Mahrez, and here's the Car Walker coming in. So this is like a strikeless version of their tactic, and will defend like a four four two. Right. So this is their strikeless. This is what I think is the way they play strikeless. So let's try this out, right? Okay. Wow, I'm doing it on the channel right now. You must be joking. So this not roaming. Let's give him box to box. So he gets. He, I can actually get him to move up higher. Okay. So can, the only reason why I'm picking box to box is only because I can, you know, mess with the rolls. I alternative is of course CM. Right, you got CM support, and then you come in here, you got all the wonderful things you can add to him, right? So you can add in dribble more, shoot less often, take more risk, go direct, um, roam from position, move from channel. Okay, done. We give him the whole shebang. Okay, inverted winger comes inside here, wing back goes around, inverted wing back comes inside here, Joey sits here. Hey, holy cow, this is Man City, but hey, we'll just play this for the next game, okay? Just see what it looks like. Okay, focus, I'm gonna remove it, I'm gonna remove this. Um, on a if I want to play like City, then I have to do this. Do this, do this, be wider. This guy is going to be told to stay wider. Let's just stay wider, okay. Alright, this guy is this. I'm going to get full width from this place. Okay. Um, shorter passing. I'm going to go uh, counter whole shape. Very City. Roll out, distribute. Dang. This is why they get into trouble sometimes. Uh, okay, no stay on feet. Uh, no use of. Mm. I'm not a big fan of the offside trap. Not because they don't do it in real life, it's because the damn game doesn't do it very well. Okay. So let's try this out, okay? Yay. Next game. Brand new tactic. Yeah, I just know I just don't bring BYT today, man. How do you beat bat, beat five at the back systems from the AI struggle? Okay. If you're if the thing about back five systems and the AI uses it, right, is if you are giving the AI too much time to build up its attacks, you're going to run into trouble. Generally, what you want to do <clears throat> against back five systems is to attack those wing backs. Don't let them come up the pitch. So you have to play a system that puts pressure on them, like maybe a 4-3-3 DM. And you got to be using everything in toolkit. Do this as well. Like this, right? Close... Close their back line. Close their defenders now. I like to do this. So my, people always wonder why I do this. It's like on a trigger press on the goalkeeper. Oh, we are playing a new, brand new tactic. Never been used. Don't even know whether our players can play. I'm such a bold fellow, you know. I have no clue if this is going to work. Halfback. Joey's a halfback. He must be joking, man. He's got to have to tackle. That's crazy. We can't do Joey as a halfback. Uh, where's Ribeiro, the useless idiot that gave us gave up all the goals earlier? We're gonna put Florent here. With Sharon, no, we're gonna put Mina and wish these two guys up here. Okay, so those two. Um Read one Yilmaz, I love this guy. So I'm gonna put him here. Mm. This is a bit more of an attacking group of players. Okay, never mind. Let him play. Okay. Uh Lema can come in here. This position should be Ribeiro. Or, or any idiot that cannot. None of my Ribeiro is not available. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I think this game we're gonna get pumped. This guy can't tackle. This guy can, but I need it. Okay, we'll swap these two guys. Okay, we put Joey here. We'll put him here. Right, at least he can tackle, but he's. I don't think yeah he's got some jumping he doesn't have the composure all right so yeah we're gonna have to play a slightly tanking mentality slightly short okay shorter passing um okay something like this right this is like my city how do you beat a 4-4-2 in the game i lost 4-1 in champions to a 4 what is it for Ah, right, that's because you use a 4-2-3-1. Okay, if you're using a 4-2-3-1, you gotta keep... Okay, against a 4-4-2, you gotta keep the ball. That's the most important thing, right? So, your two midfielders are gonna be up against their two midfielders. You see you see the issue you have right there? That's why you have to keep the ball. You have to work the ball from the back up to the front, right? So, um, the 4-4-2's strength is the fact that it's got players evenly spaced throughout the whole pitch. So, what you need to do was to keep the ball. That means play shorter. Um... Use the instructions here like this. Short, go narrower. Don't go wide because you probably 
you were not able to keep the ball between um, as you brought the ball up the pitch. Okay. You got to put pressure on the on the uh, on the four four two back line, so you can do that with opposition instructions, right? With pressing, pressing the fullbacks, whatever the ball. Finally, if you want to make your four two three one a bit more defensive, what you could also have done was gone to your four two three one, asking your the guys on the flanks, right, to mark the opposition fullback, so they cannot pass the ball to the fullback. They cannot play to the fullback, so they had to clear the ball. That means they have to pass the ball to their central midfield. Man mark their two central midfielders. So then your 4 2 3 one has got a bit, bit of a higher press. Yeah. So you can do that with a, you, you can't let the 4 4 four, four twos are quite strong. So I suspect that you couldn't keep the ball. Want to play a 4 4 2 with a track in the AMC strata and work, but what are the rules? You're playing a track in the AMC strata. So that means you're playing an offset, right? One striker on his own, one track or T star. Then I would make sure that in midfield, I have like a ball winning midfielder, right? You're playing a white midfielder. Why would you want a, a white playmaker? If you're playing a white playmaker, I have a, a ball winning midfielder and a box to box midfielder beside them. Yeah. See, the reason why the white midfielder is a good option is because you want to try and win the ball high up the pitch so that the Trequatista doesn't have to do any tackling. Yeah. You just play hoof ball, <laughs> draw and hit. Yeah, man, that's the best. Hey, 4 4 2, there's so many ways to play it, right? I love the 4 2 because you got so many damn ways of playing on 4 2. It's like we have we have one guy on our Discord, right, who's been playing only in the 4 2 system, like for like seven seasons, I think. Right? And he's come up with like a hundred different ways of playing it. Because he keeps winning, but he has different strategies for different kinds of matches. So that's why you have to master when you play the 4 2. Kind of like, you know, you don't have to go out there. I mean, even if a, they, you can do a small change, like maybe. You see that you want to put a bit more pressure on their fullback. You, you take one of your wingers, right, in a 4 4 2, and you just shove him into the AM slot, right? You just make him into a winger, then, you know, you put him on support duty. Uh, simple things like that you can do with the system. You can go asymmetric anytime you want. Okay, we are playing uh, Glasgow Rangers, man. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got Lemo. We got the ball, guys. First highlight is ours, hopefully. Yellow. Looks like it's through the growing grow is in the house. Scores the goal. <laughs> that was quick. What should be a compatible partner for a track? Track is going to drop deep, right? You can play a track with anybody. You can play a advanced ball with the track with Easter as well. So the track with Easter drops deep, he dribbles to the ball, sees his partner up in crime, running, getting ready to break the offside track, he plays one over the top. You really get what I mean? Yeah. Track with Easter is just like a very glorified F9, but it's a very fun role. In fact, I seriously would recommend you guys go and play a 4 2 3 1 with four track on stars. I know it sounds freaking insane, but you haven't tried anything until you try that out. You see four guys dropping deep to get the ball. And then you see the opposition going up the pitch, like, okay, what's happening here? Nobody is attacking us. And then one of them drops deep. And then the next thing you know, there's one diagonal going to all the track on stars charging into the box. So it's kind of funky. Uh, but you know, it's not for everybody, you know. It's not for everybody. It's, you, you have to have, you just need to be the sort of person that loves that kind of like crazy football. And that's who I am. Guys, <laughs> Man City's strikeless system is in the house. Look at the way we're carving this team up, man. Look at that overlapping run. Who's that player in the city side? Cancelo. Who's Florida Silver? Is anyone? It could be Jack Greenish. It could be uh, Ferran Torres. And who's Joey? He's supposed to be Kevin De Bruyne. Who's this? This is supposed to be Riyad Mahrez. I know this sounds very, very alien to a lot of people. Like, you know, why would you do that? I mean, I, they, they have to remember they defend like a 4 4 2. It's very annoying making their tactic. Johansson with a long kick up the pitch. Here we go, the Vizio. Okay, come on, boys. Don't let them turn. Yes, nice. Nice. You use OIs to do that, guys. You force, there is a way in this game for you to force your opposition pull back to play exactly the kind of pass that you want him to. 
And that's by using opposition instructions. So what you do is, with opposition instructions, you can show a player white, you can show a player, you can show a player to his left foot or his right foot, right? So what you do with a fullback is, you want them to pass the ball inside, not go down the flanks. So show them onto their left, uh, show them onto their opposite foot. Okay, Lema is pretty much having nothing to do. Look at that, he's got, he just got sent off in the last game. Bloody hell. He's got, he has got a two-week fine. And look at him, his numbers are dropping like a rock. Okay, we're going to have to do something, right? I don't like that with Lema. I like, I love him as a player. He's done really well, but he just pissed me off by getting himself sent off against Ajax. Okay, so... What can we do? The, uh, the challenge with this role is acceleration and decision making. So whenever you want to play a player as a inverted wing back, that's the first thing you look at. Acceleration, decision making. Then you look at tackling, you look at passing. So guess what? We have nobody. Composure. Let's find out how bad how badly this guy does it, right? Can he play here? No, he can't play on the right. He's gonna make a little too many mistakes. Uh Joey, I think Joey can. Um no tackling, but it's got very good anticipation, which is why I don't mind sometimes playing him as a DM. Johan Mina. No, I can't. I got nobody who can play there. I guess that's why Conrad Lehman knows <laughs> he's never gonna get fined. He's never he's I'm always gonna need him, right? The cocky bug. It's a real cocky bugger, no. Yeah, I'm the only right back in this club, man. Hey, yeah. You know, What's he gonna do? Get somebody else? That ain't happening, man. You still use your white, uh, the white target man. What should be a compatible? You can ah uh, with the Tricotti style on that side. You can also use a white target man. Uh, oh sorry, that's a four four two. You can't play a ta white target man. You can actually play a target man with a Tricotti style. Target man or attack Tricotti style. That's also possible. But I love the white target man. Four three three DM four four two. So you can use the target man. Target man poacher is fantastic. Target man, uh, advanced forward is also very nice. You have to remember roles give you different dynamics, right? That's why it depends on the players. See what you your what kind of players you have and what kind of options you can run with. Okay. Alright, we got a whole bunch of players now looking at me for making substitution. You know, they need some substitutions, man. Okay. Doing well, doing well. Why not against Glasgow Rangers? Easy pickings. Total domination, man. The XG was... Okay. I like XG because it still state, it still gives me information, right? So... This season, look at that. In the league, right? Our striker system has been blowing everybody out of the water. Oh, let's look at our strikers. I haven't been using him as much as the other guy. There we go. I'm really hoping for some nice little reports, man. Okay. Goals, he's getting a 0 0.80. That's not too bad. Expected goals is like. Okay, basically every every 90 minutes, right, we've been creating at least half a chance for him. All right. Okay. We're just going to get this number up a bit more. Oh, that's not too bad. His conversion rate is 43.75%. Can you find any person? Look, when you have a player with this kind of conversion rate, it's insane. You're, you're gaming the bloody match engine. This shouldn't be the case. I mean, this guy is one of our top strike. He's like right up there is the guy who could be scoring our goals, right? So here's another one. Uh, coach report. Go to the coach report. I'll see all these things here. So this guy is one of the other players, but he has not been, you know, he's been creating a lot of chances. Okay, so they got me. Basically, it was Mina. Nesto, Nesto Groin is another one I want to use. All right, but look at that. All right, expected goals 58, but Actual goals hasn't been scoring a lot of goals. 
So he's been getting himself into those chances. He's been getting himself into the areas, but he's not been scoring the goals, right? So we're going to keep trying these two guys out. His new system. Um, right footed. Um, there we go. Weak left foot. So he's going to be, if he comes in from this side, he's not going to really. The problem is this year, SI dropped the ball. They dropped the ball on technique. Training the other foot. <laughs> Being a function of training. <laughs> Schedules. <laughs> calendar. So I've had a lot of technique, but still, you know, these guys aren't improving the other foot. Yeah. Hopefully they change this for FM FM21. Ah, it's rather FM22. Build, build up on the left to give space to the air from the right. Air, nicely done, man, Peter. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Build play up on the left. Build play up on one side of the pitch so you release the advance forward. That's the best way. So we're building play up. Actually, I can do it. I mean, I could do it a bit here. Okay, what I can do is I can just focus here. It will create opportunities for these guys now. Okay, or it's, it can still work with these guys as well. And, you know, but then this, this, this role is... I like this because he does an overlapping run. Right, so these guys like they pull a whole bunch of players to them. So having these guys in inverted winger is actually a bad idea. <laughs> having him as a winger on attack is a much better idea. Okay, why is that a better idea? Because then these two guys aren't on the same line. Right, you don't want that to happen. So he will come inside here. This guy is gonna go up. He becomes the third striker. So when this we build up play here, this guy is gonna come in as the third striker. Right, so that's the plan. Yeah, you got yourself sent off. Now what are we gonna do? <laughs> we don't have a right-sided player for a long time, man. Oh, okay, Diallo, you can, you'll have to play here. Okay, so we'll have to find another defender to play there. Uh, you will have to play that for the next couple of matches. Right, you go and you know you do something with your life. Hey, Stinger, how are you, man? Yeah, guys, if you guys are keen on uh, doing a, um, I don't know, stickers going to make it available publicly. But he's having a draft very soon. I think the guys on Discord will know. <laughs> yeah. Sticker, this looks, this tactic looks very familiar, right? It looks like stick piano tactic, right? Yeah. But I was just thinking of making a Manchester City replication. So I was just toying with it and I came, I came, came up with the same, same thing. These two, because City defend in a 4-4-2, right? But you see, there are two ways of doing it. The other way is to do it is like, like this, right? Oh, sorry, like this. City can also be set up like this. Then we have like an inverter wing on attack here. This will be Riyad Mahrez or whoever is playing in this position. Then we have like all inside forward, right? So we go inside forward. Then we have an inverter winger. This is where Jack Grealish operates, right? If you want to use him, then we can have like a... Problem then is when you have inverter winger and Mazala, then what we'll see is it's a nice dynamic, but you got to be very careful. What they'll do is they do, they'll do the crossover. they switch positions. So Mazala will sometimes come out here. Inverter winger will sometimes come inside. So if you want to just... You, you want to kind of separate the two, then you got to add stay wider. Then we add stay wider to both these roles. Okay, Mazala, then we got, no, this guy has to be a wing back on a tank. Because uh, Cancelo overlaps. Ball playing defender, defender. This guy is a half back. This guy is an inverter wing back on support. This guy is actually a, okay. This is a real debate, right? So, I think this guy should be a roaming playmaker. This, we are talking city here, or a box to box. If we play box to box, then all we got to do is do this. Get further for moving the channels. Uh, shoot less off and take more risks. Or maybe not. Okay. So this guy pushes forward, right? Okay. Alternative B, you go in here. Go roaming playmaker. Right. So these two guys work together. So he might drift here. He might drift here. He might drift here. But this is the other version. <laughs> I'm in the mood to make my last few tactics for FM21. Kim Heaven and don't put two attacking roles on the left and right wings. Hey, you can. You can definitely put two attacking roles on the left and right wings. I always do that. 
There's some tactics you can have like four four twos with two attack duties, but then you put two pivots in the midfield, that whole position. Then what you get is a very direct four 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 two. I was played out of the park by somebody who had that kind of a four four two once before. Very nice. Direct football all the way. The ball just goes ping, ping, ping all the way to goal. It's like a 4-4-2. There are, no, there are no like hard rules to follow. You, you shouldn't, you know, go like, this is, don't do this, don't do that. No, this game of football manager, really, there is only one, <laughs> one hard rule in this game. Don't follow any rules. Just have fun. I think after I tried to think more in depth to passing triangles, I'm like, oh, well done, man. Yeah. Think about all the triangles, right? See, think, think about all the movement patterns you get. Okay, so Inverter Winger comes here, right? When he comes here, what do I get? I get this guy, this guy, him working together. But what happens when this guy goes across them? Oh, man, this is going to be beautiful because I'm going to have a mobile diamond, right? So I, this thing is going to just move up and down the pitch. Right? So if I can keep the ball, and this is why this instruction is very dangerous. You got to be very careful with that work ball into box. Because work ball into box is counterintuitive unless you have very, very good playmakers in your side. Never use that instruction if you don't have it. If you don't have playmakers, don't bother. You do better without that instruction. Because the work ball into box is meant to be used. I won't say it's meant to be used. I mean, it doesn't do well in systems that operate deep, right? So if you're playing against a team that's defending deep, it's good. You're gonna like, oh my god, why can't I score a goal? Why is every cross broke? Why is this? Why is that? Because like ball we'll into box. Okay. Alright, this guy is uh this guy is not too bad. Okay, Joey is playing here. We got Divisio. That means now I've got options, man. Okay, this guy's a left only. If I play him as an inverter wing back, ah, this is interesting, right? If I put him as a inverter wing back, what he's gonna do is he's gonna always stay here. I can add the overlap, right? He's just gonna go here. But he's, not, he's, you know, he's gonna, you know, not so good. He won't perform very well. The thing about inverted wing backs is this, right? You generally, the rule of thumb is this, right? Do not use a player who's only good at one foot. That's your first rule of thumb. You want to play an inverted wing back? Always play an inverted wing back who is decent with both feet or good with both feet, but never like this. All right, so let's go with this the tactics, right? This guy is weak with his right foot, right? So you don't play him. Don't play. In fact, I wouldn't even play him on the left as inverted wing back. So he's out. What about this guy? This guy is brilliant. Okay, so he's the perfect inverted wing back, of course. Okay, so put him here. Um, Ribeiro is on the bench. Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, he's... Uh, so we can submit our team. So we've got the Silver, Groen, Joey, Cholinov, Alistoe. Wingers. we got a winger on that flank. Who do we have? We got Johan Mina, man. Johan Mina is deadly. Left winger, he's good. Okay, if I play him, if I play him, see, he's come deep to get the ball. So he's going to drop. I don't want, I don't want that. Okay. Yesharavan tries killer balls, likes to switch ball to other flank. Oh, might be good here. This guy runs the ball to center, cuts inside from left wing. Hmm. Okay, he's going to come inside here. But he is actually... Okay, we're going to play him on the right. We're going to put Mr. Mr. Tricular Ball often on the left. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Let's see what happens, right? Okay. You just won Champions League with Milan in 2020. Before that, I was sacked by Lecce and I still don't win in Serie A. Oh, no. You have still ever won the Serie A, man. There has to be your, your FM22 goal. Uh, FM21 goal. Win it. Don't. Just go there and get it, man. Get the title. I hope you win the title, man. I really do. I really hope you win the title. I'm trying to get this. Uh, I'm only focused on the Ernst Happel challenge right now. I want to finish this before FM22 um, <laughs> comes. Okay, we got this. Okay, Biko wins the ball. That's good. Toure, Bates. I mean, uh, the other thing I hope they improve in FM22 is lighting. Like, you know, like, we don't need, like, this is like, too dark, man. With Sharon, Red one. Okay, goes forward. Yep, that's it. Goes forward. Everywhere. He's left everyone behind. 
Damn it. He's like holding up now. Okay, I'm going to give it to Joey. Joey finds growing. Chirlinov. Diallo. What a ball. Chirlinov scores. One, two, buckle my shoe. I'm in the house. Okay. Look at that. Plays it back to him. Diallo. Then he goes into the space. Nicely done. The defender was caught ball watching. First fundamental rule of football, keep your eye on the player, not the... Keep your eye on the ball, right? You know, when they're dribbling, you keep your eye on the ball. Yeah. He didn't look at the player. So it's looking at the ball all the way. Yeah, the coach said, look at the ball, look at the ball. I'm following the ball. <laughs> you like, the, yeah, you love the direct system in draft mode. Yeah, draft mode, yeah. 4 4 2 direct in draft mode is deadly. Very, very deadly. And so is the 4 2 4 in draft mode, right? Direct, especially you play direct. And you play in such a way that you don't waste too much time passing the ball. Rowan! Oh, cow! Just right at the last moment, the ball was nicked off his foot. I use a lot of OIs in this, guys. I'm like faithful to OIs. They say, what, we this, what, what do I say about Diallo? Diallo has not played as an inverted wing back in his entire life, right? It's the first time. And what was my criteria for picking him as an inverted wing back? My criteria was very simple. He has to be good with both feet, right? Both feet. Or decent, right? He's got, he's got a 7.0 rating in the game. Because once the player comes in there, he's got to have to use both his feet on you know, left and right. So he's got to be able to uh, work the ball. And he's got a very nice uh, angle. He, you can see the, the whole pitch really well. So, yeah. Being the, being able to, uh, being comfortable with both feet is actually a, a really good thing for that role. So anytime you know play inverted wing backs, never pick a right only a left only for inverted wing backs. The, the worst thing you can ever Charlie off in the house, Charlie off too. You struggle to find really good players. I imagine Benfica. Well, sometimes you got to be patient, man. With this, Dios, you you should be able to find. I mean, I don't know. I I keep finding really good players. Yeah. I got a... Uh-oh. Do you actually use... Do you, I mean, do you also go and check out like the competitions in leagues and all that? Because, you see, I don't only stop at... Okay, I will meet, get a player sometimes. Like, I like to scout the, the competitions themselves as well. Uh, like... And then pick players based on their ratings, like, you know, how they perform. Like, you know, a, a striker that's always finding, sh does well shots on target. His conversion rates are really good. Okay. But maybe he hasn't, he has not been, uh... like, if a player's conversion rate is very good, a striker, but he doesn't get a lot of shots, right? Like, yeah. Okay, let me just explain this right, so that you guys understand. Okay, when I look for a striker, what do I look for? I look for conversion rate first. The second thing I look for is shots. Now, if his shots are low, it means the tactic is bad. Right, because I want strikers with lots of shots. And if they have lots of shots and if they're very good... Okay, if a striker has lots of shots and has like a 15 to 20 conversion rate, that's pretty average for a striker. So I, I, I don't look at like those kind of numbers. This is one of the reasons why we've got that player with our, my Wolves save, right? Who scored like 40 over goals in the first season. We scouted him and picked him up. So you got scouting is more than just my scouts coming in with recommendations. It's also you doing something with the numbers. The, the reports that you get, right? Based on that as well. And scouting competitions. Um, Going to... Like, you know, checking out the competitions, checking out the data from the competitions and identifying players. So it's a full-on thing as well. So it's, it's, your scouts do maybe 50, my scouts do maybe 50 to 60% of the work. The other stuff I do myself. Okay, so we've got to, so one of our players is mm, a bit, wait, where's the con condition is here? Nesto growing. Yari is doing okay. This Shadow Striker is really tired. Why? Okay, I never understood Okay, order this. Now it's okay. 
Uh, all right, so we've got Nesto Groen and Florin De Silva. Both our strikers are about the same, so they're working their both asses off. Uh, the inverter wing back. The defender, Biko, is really tired. I mean, this is very unnatural. So this could be a sign that he's going to get injured. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring on this guy who's a youngster. Another youngster, get him in there. Diallo is also first game. Look at that, man. Yeah, we're going to have to watch Diallo very carefully. Yeah, you want you see the same statistics in FPL. There, I'm not lazy, but if I just yeah, I know what you mean. I know you. Mean. I see. I feel the same way. But I found that when I okay, okay, if I wait for my scouts to give me the information, I'm never gonna go far. I will never get far in this game. All right, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna improve my guides. Like I'm gonna improve the guide book this year, and I'm gonna detail exactly what how, how to do this. That means it's a complete package. Thanks for reminding me. Let me go to my book because I'm actually writing the book right now. I'll just add this as a... No, this is not the... The page. Where's my book? I'm writing the book out right now. Like, my late nights, I spend writing the book. So I have to write this in. Anyway, scouting. Scouting guide, right? So I'm going to have to include in there... Um, uh, how to... Hey, I already started something. Yeah, Jeremy, yeah, I'm, I'm okay, hold well on. Okay, quantity over quality. All right, um, scouting essentials, including using uh, statistical. No, 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 it's not statistical. You don't use stats. You use uh, uh, data. Yeah. Okay, strikers, right? So, what do we need for strikers? We need um. We need conversion rates. Because conversion rates versus low shot count. Uh, versus low appearances. So you have to check all three. Yeah. I'll, add, I'll add the rest as well. Thanks for bringing it up, man. I, I, I'm gonna... No, I'm rewriting, man. It's a totally new rewriting guy. So I want to improve that. Because the sc I, I realize that you're not the only guy that has this problem. Quite a lot of people have this problem because of scouting. Okay, dating, scouting, like if I go in here and I do this, I should find my wonder kids. No, actually, you no, no, no. There's only half the half the thing. The other problem is this, right? Depends on your rig as well. So, okay, I, I, I tell you why. Okay, how many leagues do you think I've got loaded here? So, if you have like less leagues loaded, like you need have four leagues loaded, then your scouting is limited by the number of leagues you're loaded as well because you need information, right? So, for example, um, let's go to what? Let's, let's see what. Let's see. Okay, I go to preferences, screen flow, right? So we just type in screen flow. I don't know which leagues are loaded here. Screen flow will tell me which who I am. Uh, screen. Where's screen flow? Do, 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 screen flow. Click on this. Okay. So uh, I only add, I only done this Turkish and Turkish, right? So now I'm gonna add some more. Okay, so I'm coming in here. Okay, I've got all these leagues loaded. All these leagues are loaded, right? Okay, all right. So now what I want to do is I want to go and find out the information. Or okay, so I go Austrian Premier Division. I want an overview. Okay, all right. Maybe okay. Maybe this is too much information, right? So you go like Shit, this is too much information. Okay, maybe I. You, I want youth players. I'm only interested in youth players, right? So, okay, I'll go inside here and I'll go to the uh, African, maybe under 20 Cup of Nations, whatever, right? So, you just add these. We'll just go to Europe. We go to France. Um, French, under 19 National League. Done. Add the screen. Okay, we go to Europe again. Uh, Germany, under 19 Youth Cup. Okay, under 19 Division 2 or Germany Youth Championship. Let's just add that at the screen. Then we go to Europe, Spain, uh, under 19 Cup, under 19 Division 1 at the screen. We go to Europe. So by doing all this, right, what will happen is when, when I'm playing the game, whenever the page changes, I'll get like a competition screen, right? So we'll just give an example of one. Okay, here we got the Dutch 18 League. See, notice, right? So it opens up the Dutch 18 under league, right? 
from here, why? If I'm when I'm very hardcore about this game, this is what I do. This is the best way to find players. Then I come in here, I go to player detail. Now I'm looking for a striker. So I will come in here and I go look. Okay, who are the guys who have had the best conversion rates? Do, 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 do. Expected goals are not interested. Uh, shots on target, shots on target, percent conversion rate. There we go. All right. Now from here, I'm looking for strikers. The only problem with this game is they don't tell you who are the strikers because this could be a defender. Okay, we got a striker on top. 60% conversion rate, three goals. He has had five shots. I would immediately scout this guy. I would sign him without even looking at it. This is damn good, man. He's had three goals from five shots, right? All right. Then what I do is I find out if they're going to make any senior appearances like later. Like these are all, these are all for this youth team. So I could, I could add him to my shortlist, right? So I add him to my shortlist. So once I add him to my shortlist, this is why scouting, if you want to really get the best out of scouting, there is work to be done. You can't just go, oh, I want the scouts to give me all the information. It doesn't, doesn't work that way. If you want the easy way, it's, that's the easy way. Once in a while, you get some golden gem coming to you, but you want the one way, you, like how I found Carlos Correra. This is exactly how I found Carlos Correra. So I found him when I was 16 years old, then I add him to a short list, right? So then I go to, so what I'll do is I add him to a short list. Like I got, I have this potential short list, right? Transfer add to short list and I call that my potential. So he goes into my potential short list. So I go to scouting, then I let's look at my short list. Then I come to potentials. Where is potentials? Okay, potentials, right? So all this information here now. Okay, so we got all the potential scout list, but I can also do this. My money ball short list. Then I, I get my money ball short list out. I look for appearances, right? Now, some what happens here is these appearances are only senior team appearances, right? Right. So I might have see these guys. Dirk Wong has not played for the senior team yet. That's why he's got nothing, no numbers here. But you see, the moment they start making appearances, that's when I start looking. I start checking them out because these are all players I I added to from that that data list that we saw earlier. So I add them in. Then I track them. This becomes my tracker. So then uh, once they make like the numbers so these are all the metrics i have to track so like the total shots the guy had shots of shots percentage i know it's a lot of work and for some of you it's just oh my god this is too much man i want an easy way the game doesn't work like that right and so I'll, I'll write a guide explaining the step by steps right so that if you are into this kind of uh, into this kind of shit, then yeah man welcome to my messy world okay so like like for fullbacks, right? What do I look for? Interceptions. That's all. <laughs> I look for interceptions. I'm such a chicken shit. All I want is interceptions. You know why interceptions are so important for fullbacks? They got brains. They know the play. They can get there first. That means they have intelligence, right? Oh, that's all I need. I need intelligence. Decision making is so, such a big part of the way I play. Uh, so once you do that, yeah. It's very easy. And that's the best way to scout. It's the best way to scout. I mean, yeah, okay. The game comes in and gives you all this information. Yeah, but what's the point? By the time... You, I'm a Wonder Kid signer. I sign Wonder Kids, right? Before they become Wonder Kids. That's the difference. I don't sign Wonder Kids when the media label hits them. I sign them before the media label hits them. They, and how do you do that? You do that exactly by the method I showed you. So I'm gonna write a detailed guide. Uh, I'll update my. Uh, no, that's that's a new chapter because I didn't. It wasn't in the book last year, right? So this year will be in the book. The whole thing will be in the book because that way you don't end up going. You don't become like. A, a, how surprising would it be for you? You went and did this yourself. You search for the player and you took a gamble. I've done it many times. I've done this. Like, I look at the numbers, the guy, oh shit, I'm going to take a gamble, man. The numbers tell me this guy is going to be something for the future. But there are no attributes showing. It happened once. It was crazy. I looked at the player, I just went like, hey, this, the numbers are insane. And these aren't attributes. These are just stats. 
and he's playing so well and he's already had one or two senior appearances and he's only 50,000 what do I do? I'm gonna sign him that's what I did his name was Joey so we are making we are taking Joey everywhere with us then the other one the, the other big success story was Carlos Correra uh, I want I wanted so badly to get a 40 goal striker in FM because every FM I'm in a race with another guy uh, we were both friends and he's so this year I beat him to it so I've got my 40 goal striker hey Peter good night have a good one sleep tight and dream of football manager 22 it's coming soon I'm looking forward to it so much because once football manager 22 hits, right? Man, I'm... I am so going to be playing it like crazy, man. Okay. All right. We got... Do I give this guy a break? He's been playing every single game. Chill enough. Look at that. He's not used to playing so much for us, right? He's not used to it. He came in and said, What? I scored a goal. But guess what? Chill enough. You're playing again. All right, we've got attacking. Uh, no mix, no hit early crosses. We'll play our defense. We're rolling it out. We'll hold shape with counter press. Notice that? We're not even a uh, counter press. We're not even a... Uh, there's no counter. We're very patient. Hit them. Very uh, man city. All right, so this is... Um, we have only selected from possible 70 job. Okay, we'll go Ribeiro. Who's this Adrian Rosu? Oh my goodness, you're 90 for jumping reach. You better come. Uh, Muntaro, you haven't been playing. Matthias Jung. All these boys are going to have to start playing them, man. But we're going to win the title as quickly as we can, then we're going to get out of here. Why play two ball playing defenders? Because I love ball playing defenders. Plus, this is a Man City replication. Okay, we got two ball playing defenders, either side of a halfback, splitting them up. Inverted wingback comes in and Yari Yeshereven is already injured. Didn't last long there. Alas Tawe, left, drives killer balls. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. You're going to be playing as an inside. You're going to be playing as an inverted winger on the left. What's your... I can't. The moment you turn, you lose the ball. Johan Mina runs the ball through center, comes to the state's tempo. Hmm. It's a choice between him. It's between him and him. It's a question of which of these two players is worse. He's gonna make he's never played there, he's gonna make mistakes. All right, uh, this guy, he has some competency here. Uh, but he's going to come deep to get the ball. Ah, hell, you know. What choice do we have? The best player that we have for that position is very injured. The silver with the corner. Hadzika Hadz Dunic has scored. 1-0 up. Simple corner routine. Two guys jumping in a near post. Hey, Chelinov, look at that. He's not 100% fit. That's my only other worry. If you have already scored a goal, maybe I'll take him off, right? What's his natural fitness? Possession, quite good. We are controlling the match in their third, right? So... So I can't afford to take Chilin off of Mina back to the silver. The silver crosses grow. Two goals, two, co two corners, two goals. Both different. One was a near post hitter, the other one is a short corner routine. Ooh, lovely. Alright, we I think we can take him off. Alright, so. We're taking Chilin off, off and then we're gonna put in uh Alas yeah, we're gonna put him in. Voss with a long kick out. 
Oh, that's well taken. Yellow sold for space and commits a fall in the box. Hmm. He barely touched the guy, the guy went down. I, I wished, I hope, really hope that SI in FM22 give us better animations of penalties. Yeboa? Oh, that, uh, Yeboa is not missing this, man. There's no way a Yeboa is there. Is that the sun? What's that? There was a Yeboa in the Premier League at one point. I can't remember his first name. That's it, man. We're one goal down. Oh, sorry. At least one tie, one goal down. Uh, if that, there's still room for improvement. Okay. Let's go. Yellow's not playing well today. The silver with a corner. Don't tell me it's a third. It's a third goal from a corner, guys. Our corner kicks are deadly. Why doesn't this happen to me in the streamer shoot <laughs> on the draft modes? Why can I never get this to work in draft mode? I don't know why. In draft mode, they don't happen for me. But they happen for me when I'm on stream. Holy cow, man. It's three goals, three goals from corners. Was with a long kick out. Oh, this is too easy, man. Yep, this is going to be too easy. That forcing me inside. Well done. I love this. I love it when my OIs work. That was an OI in play, guys. Oh, he's the post. That was an OI in play. He, forcing the fullback to go inside was exactly what I wanted him to do. And I did it from OI alone. Rowan takes it to the ball. Oh, yeah. He's going to be as Lastoe. Lastoe comes in. Uh, comes in. Oh, yeah. He's, try well, he's, he's trying to Rabana from that idiot. Pialo. If it's your Joey. Oh, no. The goalkeeper panicking. He didn't expect the ball. Read one. Come on. Takes the ball down. Red one with the ball looks long. The silver hits it on. Groen brings it down. He's gonna back heal it to Joey. Joey brings it into the box. He's brought down. Come on, ref. That's a penalty as well. Joey scores because the player dawdled on the ball. Joey went looking for the penalty. Oh man, this is classic, man. Joey says, look at this, right? Joey's brought down. He says, Where's the ref, man? Ref. Then Jacobs bumps into his own player. Joey says, You stupid fool. Thank you for the goal. It's Anthony Yaboa, right? Tony Yeboah, correct. It was Tony Yeboah. That, is that? I wonder if that's his son. Because I remember the, the guy was phenomenal here. Yeah, this 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 crazy um rocket, right? For he, he can score from midfield. Oh, they're going to a 4 2 4. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the fish. Diallo, Da Silva, Diallo. Okay, this my guys, this is my Man City replication. You guys were asking for it. The same tactic will be used in FM3. <laughs> Ribeiro, back easy to the silver. Oh no. Hit this. Uh we don't have we don't have height. Those guys are just useless. It's okay, it's a consolation goal for them. Yeah, but the way he's running, he, he thinks there's plenty of time to score three more goals. Yeah, that that little faith in him is making me a bit worried. There's no point doing a shout now, it's not gonna trigger. Uh what do I do? I'm not gonna do anything. No, I'm not bothering. I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna concede to. This mess is a mess, not gonna work. A double Mizala combination in a 424 is just a bad idea. Our, our defender 14 jumping reach. Okay, I'm gonna explain something to you guys, right? Okay, alright. Uh, let's let's do some let's do some uh... okay let's talk about this goalkeeper All right guys let's talk about this goalkeeper command of area what does it do what does command of area actually do in the game if he has an attribute of between 1 to 20 if his command of area is anything higher than 15 he's gonna tell everybody inside the box hey guys I'm going out there and I'm claiming the ball. And that can happen for any cross into the box. It can happen on a corner. It can happen for a free kick. He's just going to come and claim the ball. Now, I forgot about this until I conceded a goal to McKinsey FM in the fantasy draft. Through a long throw. 
Then when I went to check my play, this come out of here is very high. But his handling wasn't very good, right? So the thing is this, when you have a play with good command of area and good area reach, now this boy is going to try and get to the ball, right? He's going to try and get to the ball. He can reach the ball if his area reach is very, very good. Right? He'll tell everybody, like, if it's a very high command area, he'll tell his defenders, don't bother hitting the ball. I'm going to get it. But if his handling is bad, he's just going to go up. I'm going to get it, guys. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. And misses it. Oh, oh, ball slips from his hands. Kind of shit. Huh? So be very careful when you pick a goalkeeper. Understand what it does in combination. It's very easy to make that mistake. Okay, we've got Vasharan injured. So we've got uh, Villarreal in a couple of days. Right? So we're going to go. This is, this is speed. This is a speed save. We don't read the news. We just want to go... We just want to shoot on. Right. We just want to go, 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 go quickly to the next game. Bow Gaming, just want to drop a personal thank you for your content. Hey, thanks a lot, man. I'm glad that it's helped you out, man, Bow Gaming. Right, we're coming to our Euro PM Cup match. We are using this new tactic, which we Man City replication. Holy cow, we just did a Man City replication on the stream and we're using it with our team. All right, okay. This player is not injured. So let's just close our eyes and see what comes. Cholinov is not playing here. Lamer, the idiot, is playing here. This guy has the weak left foot. Really strong right foot. Oh, it's better than no right foot, left foot. I would rather have two decent feet, but I don't have enough players who can do that. Montaro, no way. Um, Diallo. Diallo, actually, we'll play Diallo. Okay. Come in here. Alright. Vico, come here. Lema, for your shenanigans in the last game, you shut up. Sit down. Yeah, you're not playing. You got sent off, so you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to sit on the bench for the next couple of matches. If it's here because you're better defensively, you sit here. Okay, all right, all right, let's go. Okay, Europa Cup, man. What happens if you use World Boy into Boss and pass in the space and combine some use? <laughs> yeah, this is uh. If okay, all right. Now, these two instructions, okay, World Boy into Box, is basically. Through balls. You're asking a player to play a lot of through balls, a lot of risky passes, right? So, so, so when you play work ball into box, they they actually stop uh, attack down the flanks. They won't cross the ball. They'll pass it back inside. And then they will try and look for uh, pass it back inside. And then you need playmakers to look or players with good technical skills to play that, um, to play uh, pass. And that's when you add pass into space, right? Okay. Only problem is this. If you play Pass into if you turn on pass into space, then a lot of your players are going to start doing that. So a lot of your players are going to start looking for those true balls. If you have a kind of a tactic which is like a strikeless tactic, sometimes it makes sense because you you have this you always will have players look or playing between the lines, right? So they can add, they actually take advantage of the spaces. But if you're playing against a low block, it can be dangerous because what ball into box just encourages just gives the opposition time to settle into their block. Right? So. Something to think about. And it pass into space, also something to think about. I don't use them as like, you know, it kind of cool in strikeless systems, but I, I, I personally don't think you need one. If you have like if you have players who've got good passing vision decision, then you know they're gonna do it. This role is gonna look this role is gonna look for the pass. This, the CM of support, if he has the attributes, why well, gonna look for it too. Oh, it's gone long. Why did he do that? He's gonna roll it out center back, so he was closed down. That's why he did that. He was closed down. Oh, I've got 13 only you know, on the flank is playing with me. He's there. He can't keep up. He can't keep up. This is the reason why you need a lot of acceleration for him to wing back. Yeah. He couldn't keep up. He got turned inside out. Yeah, let's go left, Roger. 
Uh, he went left, but the penalty was too good. Maurice Wolf gives Villarreal the lead. Come on, Villarreal. I know you beat United, but you don't have. Please don't beat me too. Yeah, we just a goal down, right? So we're gonna encourage plus. Let's drop the width a bit more. Try to keep the ball. Because the possession is very much in their favor. Da Silva, Papos, it's the equalizer. Read one Ilmas. Papos hitter. One quick change. Helped us. What a delivery, man. Okay, it's 1-1. One, one. Possession. Okay, we managed to turn things around. Right, earlier, the possession was heavily in their favor. So we're managing to improve the possession numbers now. Okay, come on. Encourage the team again. Bloody hell. Marius Wolf. It's a second goal for Villarreal. It's another set-piece wonder. Martinez. Oh man, we're not defending our set pieces very well. No one marking on the far post. Divisio. Roger, Dubico. This is the first open play highlight we've had in this game. Chalinov takes it on really well. Looks around for options. Plays it across to Mina, who's got something in him. The silver now gets inside the box. What a pass to Joey! Joey tries. Joey. Oh man, Joey was gonna. Oh, one back. Oh, it's a highlight. The Silver, churling off. We're the masters of the set piece, man. The Silver, what a save from the Louis. What stage? Uh, stage three. The Silver now. Mina, out the Divisio. Out to Diallo. Oh, no. We are the ones who are playing better than Villarreal. Come on. Okay, encourage. Um, I don't put too much pressure on the boys. Uh, yeah, I think we can still win this. I think we can still win this. Oh, I'm such a positive thinker suddenly, right? Normally I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? No, I'm always the bully guy. <laughs> Throwing my tantrums at the players. This time, like, you know, I'm mellowed in my age. When do you stream on Twitch? I don't see the VOD for the draft. Oh! I I didn't... Uh, there's no VODs on uh, Twitch, yeah. Oh, shish kebabs. Okay. Here we go, man. Read one, Lamia. Okay, we're gonna save read one. I mean, look, we don't really. I'm not too worried about this table, right? League table. We're top of the table. Yeah. There's only one more game left to be played. So even if we lose this match, we're still top of the table. So we can afford to dial it down a bit. Oi! How in the world did Tagla Fico miss that? Diallo, we'll take the players off now. We'll just accept that is this accept this is a defeat, man. No, just one of those stupid days. Everything was a bloody set piece. We finished second in the group. But we still got one more game left in this group. Right? Everton have qualified, Gone have qualified, Atlanta have qualified. We just have to win one more game and we'll qualify. Uh oh. This is a very open group. Anybody can qualify. Rangers have now gone. Hey, we've got a chance, guys. Hertha Berlin have a chance. Villarreal have just pulled themselves back in. We could actually go out. Oh my goodness. I've been thinking easy. I think in that group, right? Who do I? I think I play Hertha Berlin. Yeah, Hertha Berlin, European Cup. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. This is going to be crazy, man. This is on the back of a crazy away run. Yeah, I stream. I stream two days ago. Yeah, it's always you follow. You should follow me on Twitter. If I'm gonna stream, it'll be on Twitter. Yeah, just follow my handle on Twitter. Add Bustanet. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to do a like a regular thing on Twitch. Like maybe once a week I'll stream. Most likely, I'm gonna be. 
going to do the streams on Tuesday. Right? So it's going to be a fixed stream every Tuesday at that time. Right? So, oh, wait, is it? Is it a Monday or Tuesday? Well, let me think about it. Right? No, I'll be, it'll have to be Tuesday. Monday means I'll do a very long, uh, very long, because I have to be streaming on YouTube, then I'll be streaming on Twitch. And yeah, it'll be, it'll be Tuesdays. Yeah. So Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, I stream on YouTube. And on Tuesdays, I'll do it on Twitch. Just once a week. And it's only for draft one. Yeah. I'll only do draft on Tuesdays or I'll be playing a different game. There's a, there's a small possibility I might play like, uh, like, uh, I don't know. Um, let's quick pick. New World or some interesting game. Ribeiro has uh, not been playing, right? So we're going to give Ribeiro a chance. Let, let's rest, Joey. We're going to have a very, very tough few matches coming up. So we want to be, we don't want to be, uh, Putting everybody through their, you know, gonna give Colina a chance to play. Ethan Lee, uh, like, we're gonna give him, ask him to play as a left back. Inverter Wing, we might lose this game, but I think it's more important for me to, um, uh, like, I, you notice I'm not even looking at my plays. I don't know if they're any good for this. I'm just looking at the positions they can play and just choosing accordingly. Uh, except for him, except for defenders, I need some height. Okay. Adrian Rosu, jumping reach. Okay, fine. You play. Okay. Giving a new player a chance to play. In fact, we'll just give both of them a chance to play. Two new defenders. Uh, in this case, I'll just turn it to central defenders. Yeah, ball playing defenders, they need some quality. They need some attributes, right? Both of them are just... They poor first touch, so we're not going to avoid that. Hey, Tony Jameson, how are you, man? Thanks for popping in. How's life? Guys, if you get a chance to, please check out Tony on Twitch, man. Very lovely guy. Tony Jameson on Twitch. And his podcast. But you say, Tony is also quite a well-built gentleman. He's got muscles everywhere. The silver shot to Alice Stoy. Oi! That's offside. Hey, it looks so nice, right? The takedown. The takedown looks so good. Okay, here we go. Fortuna Shittard. We are playing with a bunch of youngsters here. The two defenders are 19 years old, never played for me before. <laughs> like I suddenly got a call up. Yeah, play. We just lost to Villarreal, so we're going to give all of you a chance to play. Colina has never played before. So he's gone like, shit, I'm, I'm never... When was the last time I had to face a keeper? Last season. <laughs> Even then, it was a friendly... <laughs> My coach never calls on me. Yeah, I never call on these players, but except for Divisio. Divisio has been phenomenal. I've got to give him a rest too. So maybe I... Holy no! Oh my God. This is why, you know, you have to pay attention to stats in the game. Okay? Things like shots, shots on target. Uh, definitely Colina is not playing in the right position. Okay. Colina is, prefers his left foot. So you're going to swap these two. Alright, that's Silva, we gotta take him off, right? He's been he's been a mainstay for us all this time, so uh who do we pick? Any one of these guys? Nesto can come on. Okay. Polina Chips! Oh, he's trying his best. He's trying to impress, man. He's trying his best to impress. Colina with a free kick. Really, he's doing everything now. He's doing everything. I want to play again. I've got to find the back of the net, he says. Alright, we're gonna encourage the boys. Uh, these are all guys who never played Landvia, Rosu, Hefty Hefty is never played in Inverter Wing back he's like gone gone and picked the yellow card Divisio is the only one right so we're gonna have to take him off now things are gonna get start looking quite bad for the rest of the team yes the good players are leaving all the good players are being taken off no please don't do that to me yeah guess what uh, we're gonna rotate rotate uh, let's give others a chance to show what they're worth Show me your character, man. <laughs> Evil laugh. 
<laughs> Show me your character. Oh, that was an evil laugh. I'm bringing the worst players on the pitch now. <laughs> Rosu plays it out to Alistair way. They could have... They're all going, oh my god. The manager has gone insane. FT's away. FT. Could have been... Could have played the last game. It's... Oh no, Groen. Got shut down immediately, Rosu. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right, D boys, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Encourage them, encourage them. We're not going to shout at them. Late Jung. Jung loses the ball. They played out. Lanvir, Rosu, Rosu plays it short to Hefty. Hefty fights Colina. Colina! Oh my god, this is not his day, man. This is so not his day. He gets his first call up and. He's tried everything. Even the goalkeeper has beaten him like that. When Lanteron is away, he's going, he's going, he's gone. He's stopping, he's shooting. He says, Joe, Colina is useless. Now things have just gone from bad to worse for these guys. And they're about to concede a goal. Teki, I'm right. <laughs> That's why my name is Profeto. Okay, <laughs> they're about to concede a goal. I said that before the corner was taken. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. You play this game long enough, you can see the signs. <laughs> you come out in neon lights. Oh, man. I'm far from peace, man. I gave you all a chance. All of you a chance. At home. Send the assistant. I don't want to face the press. Probably mass massacre me. All right, here we go. Oh, training style? No, we're not going to do this. We have complete training. Uh, complete training. Training calendar. Apparently, I become so lazy. I don't, I don't even do that now. Okay, we're coming to the season break after this. So, like like this, right? I'm tracking the Turkish elite, score, elite leagues, right? So, I will come in here to find my next wonder kids. I come in here and I have find the whoever like conversion rate I look for strikers with uh let's say good conversion rates few appearances and plenty of shots right so but then you want to find out also sometimes they could be it could be one game only that they played in I say so two appearances one goal like and here what non-competitive five it is not too bad man. so we can add him to the short list of potentials and send someone to scout him Typically, typically, this is a this is an aberration. Usually, the good players will hover around here, but as you can see, right in our team, our best players are having really high numbers. This guy's XG is dropping now. Zero point three. It was zero when we first started the show. Zero point five zero. Right, his conversion rate was like. Nice. Coverage is still obscene. 36.84 is the high, one of the highest in the league. So I need to give him more chances. <laughs> That's my... That, the stats basically tell me it's my fault. That's why he's saying I'm a bad manager. He's not getting... He's not getting uh, very good chances because you, you want to create a tactic which has got high expected... Uh, like... <sighs> Basically, high expected goals, right, for him. So, his high expected goals number per game. We had, like, earlier we had it We had it at 0 0.50, remember? So, that was actually quite high. It was even higher than that. So, we had, like, so every game, we had, like, a very strong chance of scoring. Now, it's dropped. The number has dropped to one third. So, it's not very good. So, this, apparently, playing him here is not as good as it was when we were playing him in this system. Right, so in this system, he had a very, very good XG. But the more I change with this system, our Man City replication, his XG drops. Let's just switch back to this. Play Joey back here. Joey coming back here. So he goes back to being Libero in support. Uh, Lema comes here. Lema comes here. You know the meaning of coming here. All right, thank you very much. Uh, ball winning midfielder, this would have been Ribeiro. And where's my Divizio? Divizio, where are you? Do, 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 do. Biko come here. Yalu can come here. Um, late Divizio is here. Okay. Okay. Yalu is what your jumping reach. 
15, that's not too bad. Okay, Biko, 17, that's not too bad. Ribeiro is not the winger. Uh, this would be... The Turkish boy. Where is the Turkish boy? There he is. Okay, the silver grower Nina. All right, let's go. Pitesh Anum. We want to get his numbers back up. And here we go. Shout. Encourage. There's no point doing a shout. Uh in the 85th minute, right? It doesn't kick in. So you want to do a shout with at least 10 minutes to go, right? Minimum is 10 minutes. Otherwise, the shout doesn't get triggered. There's no point. So you want to, your last shout, you want to get it always in the... You want to always make your last shout happen at about 75 minutes. Because shouts have a... Do a small little boost. Some of the safer shouts is encouraged, right? Because it keeps, you know, it keeps their body level, motivations levels quite decent. Please go. Okay, this is a bit more aggressive. Joey takes the ball off the player and then gives the ball back. What a tackle. Don't give up penalties, huh, guys. That was torture, right? That one game where we gave up three penalties. What? What is Alastoi doing here? Where's the Vizio? My idiot. Could have bring Ribeiro on. Just realized we're playing. Okay, why did I take him off? Because this guy is not a ball winner. That's why. <laughs> you just realized we don't have a ball winner there. Joey doesn't tackle. Joey's like a nine. Joey can't tackle. He's a we call Libero's tackling is nine. Mina finds Divizio. Divizio, Raymond. What a. Now, I feel like throwing the book at this player. Mina. Mina didn't read the play. Yeah, Joey can't hit the ball, so he needs help. <laughs> if he's your how to grow it. Nicely done. Shoots from there. Come on, come on, come on. We can do better. We can do a lot better. Alright, we've got Divizio now. Red one does well. Brilliantly checks inside. Ooh, it's the post. Okay, it's all us now. Divizio. The silver. Uh oh. Come on. Pressure, pressure. Using OIs exclusively to do this, right guys? Right. This is not from this is not from um using that um slider. The visual what a pass to Mina! Mina shoots, forcing the keeper into a safe. Come on! Nicely done, Diallo. Back to Ribeiro. Lamer now. The silver is in the house! No, he's not. <laughs> Come on. You're making me. You guys are making me nervous, man. Oh, shish kebabs. Corner taken. Biko pushed the player before. He actually pushed the player before the header. I don't know if you guys saw that. He pushed the guy out of the way. Uh, I mean, the referee could have gone for a penalty, man. Quite divisive with the ball. Finds Thomas Ribeiro. Growing out wide now. He pulls the play. He's going to lay it back for somebody. No, he doesn't. The defender gets in the way of the ball. Nicely, that Diallo is very wide, right? He's very wide, right? That's because I sent him to be very wide. I'm not the post again! In FM21, you can get a wide center back. But he doesn't run up the ball, right? That's all. Just stay wider. That's it. Okay, what do we do? I've been, I've been nice at the boys so far. So, we throw the water bottle. <laughs> We've been very nice the last couple of games, right? So, now we throw the water bottle. Had enough of this Mickey Mouse shit. Yeah, Zetov. Uh-oh. He skips one, he skips two, but he doesn't he doesn't beat the post. Why not? Okay, rebound falls to Okay, we're gonna just go up all the way now to where you're thinking. Uh you know he's given everything, it's only 64 minutes. I need the silver. 
The silver will play until he expires on the pitch. Come on. Oh man, we just honor we've done it. That's not good enough for us. Must be cool to sight the agent. Thank you very much. Every time, if if the guy comes to me with a you know my agent thinks I should get a new contract before my performance, I'll tell him <laughs> almost always tell him to sack the agent. Okay, let's go and use this again. All right, give Diallo. Uh, land. Oh god, this is yeah, this is okay. I think I get use different players. How oh, you get FM twenty one white center back? Uh, poop poop. That the guy is sitting hugging the line, right? You saw that just now. Uh, and meeting. Uh, tell the ball playing defender to stay with right and run with the dribble with the ball. So basically in FM21, if you want a white center back, do this. Alright, so by then you have to go and choose the ball playing defender and turn dribble with the Hey, you got him. White center back. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Now we got two white center backs. But in this tactic, if I do if I do exactly that, I'm in trouble. It'll be the will cause the parting of the Great Sea. Let's see what happens, right? I mean, I, I'm I'm curious myself. But it should lead to both the white centre backs being quite a split halfback coming in between them. Yeah. That's why, that's why you ask me why am I using ball playing defenders, right? Double ball playing defenders, Rocky. That's the reason why. I like double blow playing defenders. Because I get their option. Okay, let's go. Alright, uh, Joey is available, right? So, we want Joey here. Diallo, 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 where are you? Okay, you come in here. This guy had so Kunich, so far he's been scoring a lot of goals from corners. But we want to give... But problem is this guy is not very good as a ball playing defender. It's way too much. Okay, I'll we'll just use these two. Uh Conrad Lima, where are you? Divisio, we gotta rest him. If I don't if I don't rest him, he's gonna be injured. We got a lot of players in it. Uh, rest. All right, never mind. I can't find my player. He must be suspended. I sometimes don't even give team talks. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oi! Wait, do they not defend wider? I was like, yeah, they, they will they defend wider? They will defend wider off the ball as well. Because there's a shout that affects them defensively and offensively. Yeah. Thomas Ribeiro. Show it off. Laid. Look at where my two centre backs are right now. Oh, Hefty's in the box. Ah, come on. But you have to remember, I think we are playing attacking with white. And defensive with no. When they have the ball, they'll come this way. One ball, one inverted wing back, one defender, one defender. See where he's gone? See where he's gone? Okay, okay there. Diallo and Hazard. These are my two central defenders. 
This is where they're sitting right now. This is what the defend wider does, right? Okay, when you have, when you defend, when you're defending, right? They won't. They will. I mean, if the ball comes here, they'll get the ball. That's for sure. But they will also have to come inside because the inverted wing backs have to come home. Back heels. What a goal! You can't he had a 76 tactics this week. It is set up one for draft. I reset up on mine, right? I, I reset up only one tactic for the draft. That's it. I'm not gonna be I, I, I it's too late in the it's too late in the cycle for me to start. Oh man, maybe I should use this right now. I'm just gonna play one now. Or maybe one which can morph into like two, right? But basically with the same players. I, I, but this tactic is nice. Halfback, this guy goes here, this guy goes here. This guy is very wide, this guy is very wide. There's inverted wingback comes into this pocket over here. Very nice. Oh, this is good, man. Keep it up, boys. First game. Without team talk, even. We haven't even bothered with team talks, have you noticed? Because team talks are overrated. They're so overrated. I mean, sometimes people, like, put the... I mean, I, I don't know. I, I just don't think that the game is... It's that important, man. Your tactics are way more important than team talks. Okay, we're gonna encourage. Okay, body language. Can you even check from here? See? Oops, see Daisy. Let's get it out. No, 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 no. And he almost scores, right? Okay. Should pop up now. Okay, there we go. Have I encouraged them yet? No, I have. Okay. All pissed off. Should I say encourage to them? I let's throw I should have demanded more after they scored a goal, right? Yeah, okay. Come on, what a header. Ooh, nice. Alas, right, stowe. Out to Vental Lanteran. Okay, there we go. My defender. Ooh, he chips the keeper. That was a nice shot. It looked like a semi chip. Okay. Van Cleef. Latsos. Oh, no. Whoa, oh, Focus, boys. We need this win. And who does it for me? Who does it for me? It is the boy called Joey. The one who follows us everywhere on our safe. Alastoe, what a ball for Joey. Joey takes it down. Joey comes in. Joey says, thank you very much. That's me. He points to this. Oh, Joey's not... Oh, they've gone into this... 3-4-3. Three, three. Inverter winger, inverter winger, DLP, AP. Holy guacamole. What the f*** is going on in this tactic? <laughs> this is such a bizarre tactic from the AI. Well, how many creators do we need? I don't know. Can we get a lot? Okay, cool. I'll give you an inverter winger, AP, DLP, inverter winger, DLF. Is that enough? No, we need more. Okay, I'll give you a track or T-star. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six guys. Six... Six chaps here who are all going to try and create goals for one solitary AF called Yung. Oh man, this is going to be fun. Fate Goral goes backwards. Finds Dagestal. Liatos, look at these two guys. This, that's the track Atista. Diallo reads that. Alastoe. Comes inside. Oh man, he just makes fun of this team, man. It's on his own. He's going on his own. Moment of skill there eh, from our boy. Yurian Timber picks up a yellow card. Apparently, he can't handle Alastoe's Alas little shenanigans on the pitch. Oh, that, that deserved the goal, man. That deserved the goal. What a free kick. Okay. The only time my free kicks work is on streams. But never when I'm playing in draft mode. Bloody hell. <laughs> One boy, nine, two, XG. Okay, we gotta take Joey off, right? Okay, seriously, Joey's had too much to do last couple of matches. Scored a goal. Uh, all around phenomenal performance. We're gonna give, look, we, we're gonna give Matt. How about this? We bring on Mattis Young. <laughs> Remember this kid? Last game, we brought him on. Hey, he just. He did. He didn't perform. Yeah. Okay, Mathis, you're coming on again. Ah, uh, what? No! <laughs> Please don't call me one more time. That's his reaction at the moment. Who's this? Yes, I don't know you. Okay, I've never used you. So why did you go in there? Eh, you was the first time. 
Players I've never used before. There are plenty of them in the safe. Liazos. Colina. Oh, he's gone long. Aha. Easily read by our boys. Okay. That's the way to... Oh, he's Jen. The agent. The agent, right? The secret agent. Oh, Alice Stoe. Okay, okay. You deserve... You deserve... A, okay, we're gonna give you... I don't care. No, no, not you. That player. Where's Alice Stoe? Alice Stoe takes a penalty. He deserves a goal. Deserves a goal. Come on. Hope it's a penalty, man. This week, 876. How does one man create 876 tactics in one week? Come on, score. You've had a phenomenal day. This guy has been our man of the match today. He has been the man of the match. I want him to step out and take the penalty. Okay. Oi. Oi. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Where what kind of a throw in is that from late? Late, you're not playing again. Late can't even throw the ball to a player. He throws. I mean, we don't play pass it. We don't play throw into space. Yeah. Chalinov with a brilliant ball for Colina. Colina who can't play on the left, can only play on the right, can't score. Hey, right. Colina has been trying his best. FT. Thomas Ribeiro. Oi. Thomas. Ribeiro. Oi. Uh, go tackle him from behind now. Anybody remember Hogger from um, from World of Warcraft? H-O-G-G-E-R. You know where you gotta go and kill Hogger? The pig. <laughs> Is it a pig, right? I think uh, in... I can't remember. What's the name of the town? Right, there's this uh, house. It's a, it's kind of a, like a east. I think it's a bit of an Easter egg, uh, getting Hogger. So when I, when I signed Rogger, I was thinking of Hogger. That was a bit stupid, but you know, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Information overload. Okay, God, like, guys, we gotta come up to the next one, right? So let's go quick, quick. Notice how fast I'm playing this game. This is why I call. This is when I speed through a game very quickly. This is how I normally play the game. The only time I spend an inordinate amount of time analyzing things is when I'm looking for players. Oh, stats. Two less of what the worst records in the league. Defending corners, considering four times or such situations in the 17 matches so far. A player with the increasing chance of being injured will become increasingly visible to you. Alright, done. I wish SI would just release all those hints and tips as a post on the forums. So all of us don't have to, you know, spend all that time trying to figure things out in the game. Okay, alright. Bang, bang, bang. Joey. Okay, Joey, come here. Is you come here? Chilling off Lamer. FT okay. FT you played okay. Lema is a winger. No. We had Alice Toe in the last game. He played really well. So I'm gonna use Alice Toe. You know, I put Lema here. Uh Red One, the Silver, Grow and Joey. Okay, let's go. This is the match against Hertha Berlin. Oh so should I use my 3-4-3 or should I use my which striker system? Uh too late. We're in the game already. We're in the game, man. Okay. It's final at Hertha Berlin. It is the match. We have to win this game if we want to go through to the next round. We have to. There's no two ways about it. I mean, I think we finished second. We could still conceivably go through. Provided Villarreal win their last game. So if I'm looking at the live league table, which I shouldn't be doing. Okay, this is a live league. Fair not, we are top nine. We playing Hertha. And then Villarreal are playing Rangers. Now Rangers, if they win, they go nine points. But we've beaten Rangers before, uh, uh both home and away. So there's no way they can be ahead of us. Villarreal, we've beaten them once, and they've beaten us once. 
So Villarreal are playing Rangers. If Villarreal beat Rangers, they go on 10 points. We are 9. Uh, Hertha Berlin, if we could still go out, right? So if Hertha Berlin are now on 6 points, if they win, they go on 9 points. We beat them once. We have to make sure we don't lose by a big margin here. That's all. That's the goal. All right, we're traveling away to Hertha Berlin, so we cannot screw sh we cannot screw it up over here. So it's all about making sure that we don't lose by a big margin. I still don't know what they're playing. I'm not even paying attention. They play they're quite wide. Okay, so I could use a three four three on them. Yeah, they got this. They got a lot of width in their tactic. Uh, reading the game. Oh, nice. Simpson out. Come on, crosses the ball. Ramos scores. I knew it. Oh, we couldn't even get to the ball, man. One, two, three, four. One, four. So they're playing a four, three, three. Uh, four, two, three, one. Hold on. Okay. First time ever, I'm going to change my tactics on through. I want to go through. This is a big risk. No, I should be here. Go. I could lose this totally. I just want to play something different. I get bored very. I, I'm the kind of person I'm just like, I want to try something different just to beat this team. And they score from a corner. Guys, we're going down, man. This ship is sinking faster than the Titanic. We should have changed our plans, right? We should have stuck to our guns, played our strikeless tactic. No, I had to go and be an itchy bugger and go and change this tactic. See, this kind of shit happens when you start changing too many things. Got a winning formula, why change it? Oh, I had to go and change it. Moral story, we're still on second place. Wait, what are the latest cost? Oh man, this is just not... Okay, okay, we, we, we go on to lose by a big margin then. Okay, we'll go back to our strikeless tactic. Wait. Did I? Okay, now I'm totally lost. What did I do? Okay. Um, we had this. We had a new tactic just now that we created, and I totally forgotten what it is. Uh, how did we play the last tactic? We had a uh, wing back. We had an inverted wing back, right? And we had an inverted wing back on support. Um, we had a half back, right? That was a whole idea. Because we were trying to do the whole Man City shit. Okay. Uh, we had two Shadow Strikers. And then we had this guy in this position. We had uh, one guy here and one guy here. Then we had this guy as an inverted winger. And we had this... No, we had this guy as a winger. Winger on attack. We had this guy as an inverted winger on support. This guy goes around. This is a DLP. And then we got this Shadow Strikers. Uh, we got to bring you back here. We're going to bring you back here. We're going to bring you back here. We're going to take you, put you here. We're going to take you, put you here. We're going to take you, put you here. And we're going to go. 
All right, we're gonna bring this like this, dribble less, and we're gonna counter press now. All right. Oh shit. All right, seems right. Okay. If I don't have anyone in my squad, I can play a Shadow Striker. What combination do I play up front in the 4 3 one, two? Uh, No Shadow Striker. Can you keep the ball? If you can keep the ball, if you can keep the ball, then I'll go with the... Okay, when it comes to 4 3 one, two, you want possession 4 3 one, two, you want counter-attacking 4 3 one, two, you want direct 4 3 one, two. It all depends on the players that you have at your disposal. Damn it, we're now really in trouble. You see what happens when you change too much? Can I keep my hands to myself, man? <laughs> this is my fault. We are playing well. We have been playing quite well, and I decided to mess with my tactic too much. We've beaten Hertha Berlin before. I just screwed shit up. This is my fault. So I, if I were you, you, hey, you don't have anyone. Okay, what do you mean by you don't have anyone who can play such a shadow striker? You're talking about acceleration, pace, doesn't yeah. A shadow striker ideally should have acceleration, composure, finishing, place one, two. These are the three things you want. Okay. Um so if you're playing AFCFS and AMS, that's like a bit Why do I, I don't like that combination? The reason why I don't like that combination is because your 4 3 1 2 depends a lot on your a very good complete forward. If you can if you can play a complete forward, you can definitely play a shadow striker. There is no way a person can play a complete forward and not be able to play a shadow striker. Uh, so you got a lot of creative players for AM role. So track what these APs playing. Oh, you got a lot of creative players for the AM role. So what do you want for your AM role? You can play a track what these size at AP. Or in the AM so you can even play AM. Yeah. So if you're looking at your strikers up top, I would go with the DLF or support and uh advanced forward as a combination. That's how it start. You can play a more aggressive for uh combination with a um with a pressing forward or attack advanced forward, but then what will happen is that you get these two guys pushing at the defense all the time. You don't really have a lot of players doing that off the ball movement that you really want in a tactic so DLF for support will be my easiest way of what the hell Rangers want <laughs> yeah apparently my ass man has gone and set up a little friendly with Rangers it's as if we haven't played Rangers enough this season <laughs> apparently Rangers want to play another round of football oh man so we're coming to the uh, winter period man uh, disappointed so I don't even know whether we qualified. <laughs> Shit. We just skipped through it, right? We don't know. We don't know. Hit the browse button. So I would go like pressing forward support is one. Okay. You can play pressing forward support. He doesn't really run to the channel. A AF does. AF is going to run to the channel. So you remember this, right? When you play three strikers here, you want to know which of these guys runs to the channel. That guy who runs to the channel is going to create space for the guy coming from AM position. Right? So that means you can play the shadow striker, AMA, Tracotista, any or any role that you can punch through the middle. So your how much movement do you want in your three? I like a lot of movement. So I personally would go AMA, DLFS, and advance forward. That is my optimum. All right, so that's the easiest one to pull off. Okay, we got um Joey. Where's Joey? Come on, Joey. We need you, man, Joey. We need Joey. Okay, let's find out how we did, right? Are we still in the Europa Cup? Everton and God have qualified. Hertha Berlin and oh my goodness, we did it, guys. Just by this. <laughs> because we have a better, we are better head to head with Rangers, right? We both beat them home and away. So we, by the skin of our, we just managed to squeeze through. Okay. Oh, uh, then Monaco and Athletic. Then we've got Celtic and Spurs. We've got Napoli and Sporting Lisbon. Roma and AEK Athens. Marseille and Club Bruges. Not too bad. Not too bad. Some illustrious company here. So the last match is going to be the Dutch Cup. That's the last game of the stream. Before we, we break for a uh, holiday. There we go. we we'll break. Okay, let's go. 
No worries, man. Patrick, I just I just think that 4312 is there's a lot of options in your combination. Okay, there's one bizarre one which is a uh, Traquatista, Shadow Striker, Advance Forward. So you got a Traquatista, uh, Advance Forward, and Shadow Striker. Why? Because the Traquatista drops deep. Uh, he drops quite deep, right? So he holds up more for other players. Then he's like a bit of a creative presence. But unlike the F9, the Trekotista will bust the gut to get paid to the box. So it makes for a very interesting uh, option as well. So advanced forward, Trekotista and Shadow Striker. So if you want something that's a bit more punchy and more attacking. You want to play a 5-3-2 counter attack. It's a good combination to play my poacher. Oh, with the target my support. Um... It, it, it is good combination. Yeah, it is not bad. You can play uh, Chiro Mobile or Poacher with a target man or support duty who is very good physically in area. Yeah, you can do that. It's like a very simple target man attack. Counter attacking, right? So target man and attack and then you put a Poacher beside him. That's it. Or target man or support. Then if you play target man or support, then your target man has got to have very good passing. Right? If you play target man or attack and Poacher, then the two of them will be working together. The ball will be sent to the target man. Target man will hit it off for the Poacher. The Poacher just go off and score the goals. So that's that's actually a very nice combination. Biko Vendronglen. Who's this Vendronglen? I see this is a save that we really we are powering through it. I don't even know my players. Yeah, Colina is an AL. Colina. We're giving players a break. Yeah. We're gonna yeah, we're not gonna play uh Florent de Silva for this match. He's had been playing too much. Okay, Dutch Cup. Don't go out of the Dutch Cup. We have not won the Dutch Cup yet. Our goal is to win the Dutch Cup as well. Uh, we just we just clobbered this team. Fortuna Sittard, just now, right? 3-1, we be just beat them. Yeah, we just beat Fortuna Sittard. 3-1 in the last game. Oh, who wants to see this now? Uh, final stats. Landvier to Colina. Colina takes it down. Comes inside the box. I, I, I. Oh, can't do it. And it's an easy, easy. Finally, Rashidi Colina scores. <laughs> He's been trying to impress me for many, many games. You've given him a chance to play. He finally scores his goal. He's a very happy man. Now. It took a bit of, you know, there was a bit of pinball action in this and he finally, finally scored. He must be a happy man. Ay, 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 ay. I know all over for Shudas Look at that, man. Best Romy playmaker inside forward. This flank. Oh my goodness. This flank is going to get clobbered, man. Well, we're going to change our tactic. Why do I do this to myself? I'm itching to score more goals. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm always doing this. Okay. Uh, DLF on support. Advance forward. Winger on attack. Hey, no, no, we don't do wing. Uh, we just go defensive on support. Okay, all right. That's what we'll do. Defensive to, to, to attacking playmaker. You, we don't even know whether you're an attacking playmaker. Never mind. We call it a trackwatista. We have no clue what he can play. <laughs> so we put Colina in front. Ah, huh? he's not a striker. <laughs> I mean, we're messing with this game in so many ways, man. Right now, seriously, as I don't want to watch me do this, they're probably gonna get pissed. Okay, we just put growing up, Lema, Ribeiro, Divizio, Colina, attacking, pass into space, no. Da, we keep the ball. Alright. Um, counter, counter press, yeah. Uh, goalkeeper, roll it out. We don't lose the ball. Okay. Give it to the center backs. Done. <laughs> hey Patrick. Oh, thanks for the follow. Thanks for subbing. You've done something. I don't know what it is, but something has happened. <laughs> thanks, man. I'm sorry for the alerts, right? The alerts sometimes don't give you, don't give me the full picture. Okay, guys, we are trying right now to do something else, right? They have, they have an inside forward here with the Mazala. So I want to attack this side of the pitch. Actually, what I should do, what I should do is reverse this. DLF on support here, advance forward on here. I put pressure on this side. Ribeiro, now he's working. Now he's having to work. Yalo, out to Colina, Divizio, Divizio out to Mina, Groen, goes in, plays Divizio. Divizio looks at that. <laughs> the Masala is now having to come back. 
on the side, the left side, right? You gonna have to defend, man. Now, Joey Biko, Thomas Ribeiro out to Colorado. The Masala is having to work now. He's going chasing people around. Ha! <laughs> this is funny. Okay, Lima Ribeiro, Divizio pulls out the ball, gives it. Okay, seriously, that's like giving the ball back all the way to the defense. Divizio, Mina, looks in, grow and chip, boom, it's the second goal. This is how we finish this bloody game, okay? Look at my centre-backs. White centre-back can be done in FM21. Just have to, you know. It's been the same way all the way, but now at least they've given us a bit more options. Because right now, they will give us more options. From what I can tell, it's got attack duty, support duty, right? So that definitely means that now I can break the invisible barrier which is I can bring the, the guy all the way up here which is making play around this area of the pitch nice oh you sweet beautiful baby you look at him if you look at my white center backs okay Divizio Colina Mina Asa Paolo boom it's a third <laughs> yeah baby this is how we do it. Fortuna Sitat do not like playing with me when I'm in the groove. Oh my goodness. What? Holy kakamole. This is beautiful passing, man. Okay, we've got Groen now taking it down. Give it to Thomas Ribeiro. They all don't know what to do anymore. Divisio. Out of land. It's got Groen. It's his hat trick. One simple change and he's gone in and he's done a hat trick, boys. All over the pitch. Boom. Yeah, look at that. No, it's gone. Look at this. It's gone. It's the, the, the whole Masala idea has died. A natural death. It's gone. Uh, <laughs> I love it when this happens. I love it, right? When I do something intentionally in the game, right? To destroy one side of the pitch and they substitute both the players. Joey, come off. All right, Joey's coming off. Yay, hooray. Well, we didn't save the tactic. We made it on the fly. Done. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of chapter one. Innocente reports, yeah. Joey is already competent in New Belkup Soup. Guess what? We actually retrained Joey as a libero, right? So now Joey can play in this position. Look at that, man. Libero, two and a half star. Great line playmaker. He can, so I can shift him into a Libero position. So he's now... So you can you want me to be Libero? No problem. His tackling has also gone up. Previously, when we first when I first started, right? Look at this, right? His progress attributes, right? If you look at his progress, uh, development... All time, right? So... Uh, I mean, I can't tell from here because I've been his manager for all time. Shit. I wish I could show it. I mean, he was 9, now he's 10. But when we first signed him, when I first signed him in my old club, because he has been following us all the way in our safe, right? So look at him. He's been he's been with... I signed him when he was for 52k. He's now... I had to buy him for 17 million, right? And uh, this profile... We developed him. So he's now becoming the he's gonna become my superman. In all my in all my systems. He's gonna be my superman. So he's got tri skiller balls offered. He's learned the trade already. Moves the ball to right foot before dribble attempt. So he's gonna be like this this super dyna, super dynamo player from he's gonna be a dynamo man. That's all I know. He is gonna be my Franz Beckenbauer. Just have to get his tackling up a bit more. And we're okay. His jump is 15, right? That's good enough, right? So his profile, if you look at his profile, his height is 1.84. I mean, 1.84, okay. So he's no John Terry. He doesn't have to be John Terry, right? But this guy can bring the ball out. He can dribble. No, imagine him as a libero. Passing vision, decisions. He's got everything going for him. All he has to do now is improve his tackling. So he's training. Libero on attack. So, 
all his uh his tackling is not gonna go up because the rest remember this is uh, his current ability right so i think uh, his this is gonna get up to about 12 and i'll stop that's it then i'll go back to him training um i'll get him to learn um uh, his uh, playmaker roles playmaker attributes more but this is my libero man <laughs> Now I want to do one more trade, right? So this, he just learned the tri-skiller balls often. Okay, we're going to do uh, general because he's got passing, right? Passing. Okay, I want it to, no, no, no. I want him to, no, no, no. Attempt some long range passes. <sighs> this will be the sexiest libero ever. He'll be the sexiest libero. From a deeper position, he's going to launch these attacks. Try long range passes. That's it. Baby, come to daddy. Come to daddy. Then I'm going to get the last one. We dictate tempo. Joey has arrived. But right, then he's going to join us on all our journey. He's going to join us on our journey all the way. So next match, here we... Oh, we got a few more matches, right? So two more matches before the, the season, uh, season ends. What the hell? I give him one chance to play and he's... What the hell is wrong with this boy? Well, I didn't give him a contract. Two years. I... Oh. Apparently, apparently doing well in one match has gone to his head. So what tactic did we do just now? We play a 3-4-3, right? Then we switch to a 3-4-1-2, okay. That's what we'll do. We'll play a 3 4 by 3 4 3 strikers and then we'll switch to the 3 4 1 2. Okay, this, will, this is the tactic we want to play, okay? Because it's a Joey tactic. Yeah, it's not the other tactics. All the other tactics is always my thing. You have one more question, Daniel. Uh, it is a big problem to play without playmaker on direct passing count. Yes, it is a big problem. Ideally, okay. Uh, wait, okay. Let, let's just put it this way. What does a playmaker do to your tactic? A, what a, okay, I personally... I know some people say that you should have a playmaker in your tactic, you'll play counter-attacking. This guy is going to play, play the passes, right? Me, on the other hand, I believe in a counter-attacking tactic without any playmakers. All I want are players who can play the ball, right? Pass the ball. So sometimes, like, you can have, like, ball-playing defenders who can kick the ball long, right? From the back. We've got very good passing and vision. I'm training him to be a kind of a, like a playmaker from the back. Then sometimes you can play a CM or support if he's got all the attributes. Then your play doesn't slow down with the playmaker, right? If he's available for the pass, if the ball gets to him, then he plays a killer ball. But that's the thing about playmakers. You do don't need to use him all the time. I don't like defense. I don't like white midfielders and support. I like defensive wingers. White midfielders and support sometimes they what happens during the, the, the transition is the white midfielders is on support actually come inside a bit. I don't like that. I want them to stay out. So defensive wingers do that. White midfielders don't. White midfielders actually come inside a bit during the transition. So it affects the way your ball playing defenders uh interact with the the, the space. Yeah. Anyway, what I like about I want my players on the flanks to tackle hard as well. Defensive wingers do that. And they have a higher closing down, so they're good. Villarreal, after beating... Uh, we didn't beat Villarreal, they were not declined the interview. I would love to go to Villarreal. I really would, right? But we can't go to Villarreal just yet. We can't. Our journey cannot... We cannot go to the next country until we win, win two, two league titles. Man. Oh, send home. Okay, next game. We dropped off the pace, guys. 38-48. Now we're 10 points behind the leaders. Shit. Two draws. Ajax are on fire. We have to we have to up our game. We have to up our game now. Alastoy. Defender, defender, midfielder. Okay. Joey, no. Joey is playing here. This is my combination here. So right flank, we need... No, you can't play there. Conrad Lima is injured still. Jaden Cadalera, 40 40. No, you can't. Bro, Colina can't. Chirlinov, actually, Chirlinov. 
Uh, Alastor is missing from the training. It's not the end of the world. Okay, never mind. We'll just play him. Okay. Uh, this was a Shadow Striker, right? Okay. Okay, we're gonna go back to our fort. We're gonna do the whole uh, funky routine again, right? Okay. So what did we do just now? How did I play that just now, right? That was on the fly. Uh, I had an advance forward here. I had a DLF on support here. And what was this? Trequatista, right? Okay, that's what I did. Okay. We got this guy as a Trequatista. Can he place a Trequatista? Place one, two, star again. That's okay. With Sharon? No. Lester growing up top. Yes. Striker, striker. Darko Chalinov. Oh, uh, Rashidi Kolina. Oh, not fast enough. Let's go. Hiravin is just wondering. We've never been using this. But now we want to be a bit more aggressive. Okay. My my wife's cat has gone mental. Making a lot of noise, man. Okay. Let's go. Uh, wait, hold on. Set, set. Oh, man. Kick off. No, 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 no. I didn't want to kick off. Stay wider. Stay wider. Okay, good. Let's go. Babrota. Uh-oh. They are playing well. Diallo clears that. Oh, is Joey in defense? Shit. I don't know. I have no idea if Joey is my libero. Better be my libero, man. Yeah, he is my libero. Nice, Alastoy. Grow and gets inside box. It's a simple goal out of the gate. He ravine are stunned by the counter attack. Look at that. Smooth as silk. Oh, so Alastoy would deal come for training and I still let him play. Grow and squares it for Chirlin off. Chirlin off puts it into the back. He just taps it and strokes it into the back of the net. Gives us the lead. Okay. I like the Libero working with the DLP also. Nice. This is a very aggressive 3 4 1 2. Biko is already got a yellow card. Mm. How do you get a yellow card? How do you get a yellow card from here? This is the highlight, no? All right. Oh, that's a yellow card. Okay. It's not. That was very strange. Biko on a yellow card. Okay. Corner. The silver is shot. The masters are back. Ooh, it's a two. It's a two. We are away. We want to catch up with the leaders, man. If we don't put in a shift now, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Go. You beautiful thing, you. Okay, 7.2. Diallo doing well. Joey, okay. The midfield is having the time of their lives. Okay. All right. All right, done. Okay. Left, no, 11 too slow for my tactic. Uh, Matthias Jung, you're not playing. Not now. Sylvian Hefty, 13, John Pirich, 12. Next ball, pass support. I'm looking, I'm thinking whether or not I need to make a substitution later. Planning for Biko. But this, this is good, right? Look at that. All, all, all struggling, right? So what do we do? We give them more to worry about. Okay, this is roll it out. I don't like all this. Why? It's still here in the tactic. Uh, no more pass into space. We're going to run the defense now. Keep the ball. Okay, go. Let's go, boys. Oh, no. Chula. With the... F no. Oh, no. Ah! I have not fixed the set pieces, that's all. My defensive set pieces are not fixed. Damn it. We didn't fix our defensive set pieces. Mezala DLP. I'm going to run at the defense now. They got yellow cards on the right side of the pitch, and that's where I advance all this. Mm, it's 3 1. 
but it's offside. Uh, flag went up. Flag went up. Uh, this is very, very predictable, right? What's the point of having VAR when every single thing is going to be a bloody... Uh, uh, every high, every VAR decision is... Oh, sorry, it's offside. Oh, sorry, it's offside. Let's skip VAR, man. Shut it off. Groen away. Groen. They can't tackle him. He holds up the ball. And, ooh, coming in late. Sending it straight to the keeper. All right, guys. Okay, shout now. This is the last shot we can do. Focus. All unhappy. Frabota. No. I told them to focus. It, too late. Too soon, too late. Too little, too late. Boys, too soon, too late. What the fuck am I saying? Alas the way, Groen, Alas the way. They lose the ball. It's Biko again. Joey, Divisio. They're keeping the ball. They're running at the defense. Uh, I think that was a mistake. We should have run at defense, right? Itching. I'm itching to get a player sent off. That's why I did run at defense. Joey, Thomas Ribeiro, Da Silva. Alas goes that way. Goes inside the box. Looks for a decision. It's the goal we wanted. 3 2. All right. No more Ryan. Look at my back line. They all have yellow cards. Okay. No more Ryan defense. Okay. The whole back line is picked up yellow cards. Gonna put Hefty on. We're gonna put Van Dronglen on. Uh, the whole back line. This is one of the most aggressive matches you'll see. Look at that. The two. I like my defense. Look at how my def uh, back line is split. 3-2. The battle has started. Oh no. Roger. How to have the goes long. It's no, it's no, it's no. It's there's five minutes left on the clock, guys. It's good work. It go long. Oh, it's Martins. He's away. Roger makes us. <laughs> oh, this is ending. Drama all the way. Oh, Arantes with a header. You can't keep it on con can't keep it on target. Alastoe is given everything he can. Uh, that's it. What a win, boy. We wanted the treat. We wanted the win. Right. Iron win. Okay. Tactics. We got this. This something. Wait. I, yeah. This. Done. No offside trap, please. This was my mistake. Okay. Save. Beast 3412 save. Okay. Alright, let's go. This is one aggressive 3412. Go on holiday. Utrek and us drew no earlier. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Me playing this style of football against Utrek. I don't know, man. It's a bit risky. They made it very hard for us this time. Okay. Pass in the space player or defense. I might remove this at some point, right, in the game. This is it, man, before the break. The last game for the stream. So I'm sure you don't want me, to, you don't want to watch us do all this, like, pre-season stuff, right? Or in between the one-season stuff. Okay, let's go. Go tactical meeting, team selection, done. Okay, submit team, done. Okay, go to match, done. Do we do team talks? No, don't waste time. Get into the match quickly. Whatever, send manager, whatever. Okay, or whatever. Okay, done, 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 done. Let's go. Okay, let's, let's do this. Let's do it. 4 3 one, 2 Okay, shit. I've got a problem. They changed their tactic on me. They're playing a 4 3 one, 2 Why? We're both in the mood to change tactics. But here, 4 3 one, 2 4 3 one, 2 is a problem. They got an AMC in between my two tiers. So, if we don't keep the ball, Joey's... Yeah, Joey's already picked up a yellow card. Oh, God... Right out of the gates, man. Boom. Without too much ado, 
Yes, Landmer. Look at how he's hugging the line. Drops in the defenders. Holy cow. This is this is our Trequatista against their backline here. This is their guy against our backline here. So he's in between our backline. So we got one player in each of our tiers, right? So our Trequatista is going to give them problems. Their AM is going to give us problems. So let's see who's, whose player gives them more problems. Whose player gives more problems? It's two. I'm too excited. I'm not making any sense anymore. It's two. It's two. The same team that started me off on a bad run is not getting slapped sideways. This is revenge, man. Good work there. Landveer is having a phenomenal match. Okay, Lang. Uh-oh. Manic. They go wide. Okay, okay, okay. First out, good. The defensive winger goes out first. I shit. He must be offside. Come on. No, he's not. He is. He is. He was slightly marginally offside. I swore that he was his balls were a bit further apart. Yes, balls are definitely too big. Alright, we got Libero on 6.7. DLP ball with him. Landveer. Okay, okay, okay. He's having a bloody phenomenal game in 7.9. You know who this guy is? This player. He's 20 years old. His vision is work rate is nothing, right? So it's like, wow. First time he's playing in that position. He's just absolutely owning it. Absolutely owning it, man. Boom, John, good defending. Vizio out to grow and grown holes. No, he go, he's all going on and so on. That's the thing about AF as well. When they play an advance forward, they tend to do that a lot. And also your tactics tend to be a lot more. You want to you want a direct counter-attacking system, you always have to use an AF. Almost like you, you need that because the, the football also is a bit more like they look for the advance forward. Oh shit! <laughs> the defender got a foot in. Ouch! We almost got a third. We just had destroying Utrecht, man. Oh, let's not let's not speak too soon, okay? Roger throws it out to Thomas. I love this. I love this rolling it out, man. Yeah, I, said, I said roll it out, but he threw it out. Okay, never mind. We'll take it. Oh no, Joey! This is Joey blocking the shot. Man, he's. I'm not happy he's here. Okay. Kirk. Captain Kirk. No, 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 no! Lang scores. It's 2 1. Whole backline has got yellow cards again. We won't have a backline after this. The whole backline is picked up yellow cards. 70th minute. Biko. Is this full, full metal football, man? Everyone has got a yellow card now. Chilling off. Out the Divizio. Divizio slices. Chilling off. Ja Silva says, thank you very much for the goal. Thank you very much. Da Silva does it. Oh, this is too good. Chilling off. Divizio, look at this. The playmaker slices a simple pass and they just carve them open. Okay, Utrecht are swapping things, man. They're looking for options. They go on white. Uh oh. He can't. He's on yellow. Okay, good. Nice. Nice he done. Oh, Chalinov tries to win everything there. Good. No, 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 no. Don't. Ah, good work from Joey. Joey just shadowed the player. The Vizio to draw the silver. The silver brings it up. The Trecotista slides it for Groen. And he's offside. <laughs> he's just offside. That's all. Okay. Coming up. 73rd minute. All right, but Sharon can't play. Biko, uh, story. Thomas Ribeiro, out to the Vizio. The youngster plays it out. Back to the guy who was absent for training. But he knows how to find the place. Landveer, the 20 year old youngster, <laughs> hits the crossbar. Okay, corner to defend. Good clearance from Biko. Oh, Chelinov turns the defense and tries to find the track. What he He can't. The defenders look for it. Oh, he slips the markers, gets inside. Morale, Morales is going to be another grandstand finish. 
We don't do defending here in Fire Dawn. <laughs> we play full. The whole defense is on yellow cards now. We could easily, easily throw this away. This could be the ultimate bottle job. Levin. Chilling off. It's a bottle job, guys. Three. They all can't tackle. They can only track. They can only track. It's a bottle job. You're right. I'm right. It's 3-3. Three, three. Why am I not making changes? I just want to be entertained. I just want to be entertained. You know, ordinarily, I'll take players off because I need them to tackle, but they ran into each other. Morales confused the living daylights out of the players. Cross far post, Thomas Ribeiro. No, this is not the BYT series. This is my Earth Apple challenge. We're not doing BYT today, man. Because I didn't receive any BYT tactics today. I didn't receive any tactics today. So I just... Good, I can just do this then. Oh, Ribeiro. It's growing. It's churning off. This is it. Can they do something? The Vizio fights. The silver is stopped. Oh, no, no, no. Too much drama. We could still lose this. We could still lose this. Right at the death. Joey hits it on. No. It's... So much oh gosh oh no we lost this we lost this i just i couldn't i i just didn't want to make changes i just wanted to watch holy cow this was a crazy match man oh man i just love this the entire back line was on yellow cards All right the whole back lines on yellow cards i didn't make a change oh man that's it. We ended the season in some dramatic, in some, uh, in some fashion. I know, she made a change, but such is life, you know. Shit happens. Ah, <sighs> who do I have next time? I can put Hefty on, but I don't have enough defenders now. Rondronglen, Joey, eh? I could have brought all these guys on. Got that Rosu, so we'll have to give. If this is the way I'm going to be playing and I'm always going to be picking up yellow cards, then I better make sure that I bring a new backline uh, every week. Joey he accepts, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Such is life. Don't be upset. Assistant manager, shit happens. And that was dramatic, man. That was a dramatic way to end. So guys, uh, FM22, the cycle is coming. Um, so I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to do things slightly differently. We're going to have one long-term save that I will feature, um, stream, and then we'll do a video as well. We'll just we'll do a bit of both. So people can catch up as well. And then um, do the guides. I will definitely be doing like... On Mondays when FM22 rolls out, We'll definitely be doing um, the new features of the game on streams. So I, I focus specifically on the new features, right? There's also going to be a new book that I'm going to be writing out for all my patrons uh, who will be supporting the channel. So thank you very much. Um, so it's a totally rewritten, a new book. It's not even, I'm not rewriting anything. I'm just, it's a new book. That's it. We're dumping a lot of all the other stuff that we, we've had in the past. We're just going to leave it there, right? It's all in the old books. We've covered that before. The attributes haven't changed. Right? 20 attributes. We don't need to explain them anymore. Uh, we don't even need to explain the interactions, the attributes, and we've done that in the first book. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, like someone mentioned, uh, like, yeah, more detail, look at scouting. Like how I found players like Carlos Correra and how I found like players like Joey. Um, how do we find these kind of players? More like, I did. both these players didn't come from our scouts. They came from um, using um, screen flow in the game so I think I'm going to do a detailed guide on that and uh, yeah we will have uh, guides on uh, the new roles the white centre back um, plenty of other stuff there's so many things to cover so there's no way to stop I mean pretty hard for me to you know describe everything so I thank everybody for coming on today's show I hope I could answer all your questions we didn't uh, do any bring your tactics today because we didn't receive any yeah uh, didn't receive any nothing came in so we will do probably i think with the cycle coming to an end i, I, I was thinking it's a bit late in the day to do bring your tactics as well right you know bring your tactics fm22 and yes speaking of which fm22 i'll probably i don't know if i'll be doing bring your tactics or fm31 but i will try my best if there is the time yes because we have to uninstall games you know <laughs> they can't think uh but yeah 
We'll definitely be looking at FM22 in a bit more detail in the next couple of weeks. So you guys, stay safe. Thanks for coming in. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.